There are some big changes to the Drunken Peasants Patreon that all DP fans should be aware of. First of all, we now have a one dollar perk that gives there you access to our patrons only feed. There are some big changes to the Drunken Peasants Patreon that all DP fans should be aware of. See exclusive photos and get behind the scenes access First of to all, the peasants. We now all for only twelve dollars a year. The five dollar perk, as always, gives you access to our monthly private show. It's a whole other episode of DP just for you. The $10 perk is DP commentary on a film, TV series, or video game every month. Past examples of commentaries include Troll 2, Masters of the Universe, and the unreleased Fantastic Four movie from the 90s. The DP Discord smoke sesh has gone down from $50 to $25. You can hang out with the peasants and chat them up on Discord. For $50, you get your name immortalized by DP on air once a month, and you get a free pass to access DP on demand. For $75, DP will shill your product, service, or YouTube channel on the show live. It's absolutely insane for a show our size to sell advertising this cheap, and slots are limited, so get at it. For $100, you get to come on the show and join us for the segment of your choice. And remember, all patrons of $5 and up are eligible to win the green ticket, a chance to hang out with the peasants and be on the show live in studio. Experience the magic of stoner degenerates watching videos live and in person. You must be 21 or older to win. You should also know about new goals, like the 48-hour show, a U.S. tour, and even a DP movie. For more information, check out patreon.com forward slash DP. Live from the frigid armpit of America, this is the Drunken Peasants Podcast with Ben and TJ, bringing you opinions of the news from an altered perspective. Fuck it! Ah, hey man, you got a joint? Uh, no, not on me, man. I don't have facts to back this up. It'd be a lot cooler if you did. What the fuck are you talking about, atheist? No, it's okay. You're it's nothing, okay. TJ. You're garbage. Okay. I just want to no, no, be no, light. No, no, You're no, garbage, no, no, no. TJ. And now, here are your hosts, Ben and TJ. We'll do it live. Okay. We'll do it live. Fuck it. Do it live. Fucking thing sucks. Ben, I cannot hear you. You're saying things. Welcome to the Drunken Presence Podcast, episode 401. I am joined by TJ and Dick Masterson. Dick hey, what motherfucking up, Masterson. Masterson. How you guys Master- doing? Host of the hey. Dick Show. Out there, men are better than women. There you go. <laughs> men are Recently better. banned from Twitter. Too hot for Twitter. Why were you banned from Twitter? Uh, so, uh, I invited someone to eat a cinder block, I think is what did it. What? There would be- that. How did you get banned for that? Well, hold I mean, on. You know, I mean, Milo did get banned for telling someone they sucked in a movie. So there you go. Dude, I don't think you want to get into it because, like, I've been locked out of Twitter several times, and it's all been for making fun of Maddox. And this week, I was on a tear shitting on his terrible book sales, and I think that was finally over the line. Like, they finally suspended me for good. Really? You can get suspended for saying a book sucks? I don't, I don't think you could get... Yeah, I mean, that seems a little much. I have been locked... Somebody... I have been locked out for, like, a, like two days just for answering questions like who would win in a fight. Like, just for calling someone a pussy, I've been locked out. It's... Damn, it, does, it makes no sense. I get away with way worse shit on my Twitter, and I've never been locked out or any of that shit. I don't know. I, I haven't... I didn't do anything that I wouldn't say, like, in front of my mom or a cop or a judge... <laughs> uh, I don't get it. So when did you write your book? How long ago was that? About 10 years. 10 years. Damn. It's been a, a long while. Time ago. I remember that you, you said that there was a condition under which you would write uh, a new book, though, wasn't it? There was. I just announced that last week. If, uh, if Maddox's book got above 10,000th on Amazon, which is a terrible, terrible sales rank, if it got above 10,000th by my birthday, I would write a second book. And I think he hit like twenty thousand. Book's a fucking disaster. So yeah, I got to write a second book now. There you go. You got to write a second book. Mm-hmm. What's it gonna be? I don't know. Men are men are still betterer than women. Men Trans- are better than women. I don't know. Yeah, 
It should be men are better -er than women. Men Just are more better than women. <laughs> I don't know, because then that kind of evokes uh, that movie uh, Dumb and Dumber. -er, yeah. You know what? In uh, in Hawaii, mo better is like a normal thing they say. They say, like, that's better than better. That's mo better. Then. I could make it a prequel. Boy, boys are better than women. Then I goes directly to jail for being a pedophile. There you go. <laughs> Sounds good. Thank yeah. God Paul is not here. Best show ever. Okay, yeah. <laughs> Paul's actually sitting right across the room from me editing his Hellraiser video. But, you know, I'm sure... Paul, say something loud enough they can hear it. Hey, you guys! There you yeah. go. Yeah. Um, what would you guys write? Have you ever written a book? What would you write it about? TJ wrote a book. Or a few, actually. Yeah, I wrote a couple. I, I never actually got it published for real, though. I was just self-published oh. shit. Well, Dude, yeah. publishing is bullshit anyway. Like, all they do is correct all your mistakes, which, who the who needs that? I mean, I'll read, a, I'll read text messages that are full of mistakes all day. Who needs to correct misspellings in a book and then they give you yeah. some chick who gets you on like am radio stations at two in the morning and that's it to, they take 90 percent of your money for doing that i mean i wrote a book uh i put a book about five years ago called the douchebag bible and it sold about five thousand copies so that's pretty nice. decent yeah i mean that's of course over like five years though so yeah <laughs> tj's here yeah he's here why is this fucking dog shit on the damn screen? Uh, just to... just because I wanted to put it up because we get were talking these, about it before we went on. Horrible fucking fans of ours off of this fucking screen and play some <laughs> videos. All right, Let's before get we get before we get into no, the videos, thanks. just want to remind everyone: DP on demand link in the description, fifteen percent off. Get the Onision Private Show, Ask the Kirks, Paul's uh, weekly gaming segment. I just uploaded a new one of those. Check out the post show, all that wonderful shit. Subscribe, like, and go to SoundCloud. Follow us there. Go to Twitch and watch us there too. All right, we're gonna move on. Uh, this is a segment, Dick, that we like to call "Troll or Not a Troll." All right. And basically what we do is we guess, is this person being real or are they trolling? Oh, yeah. It's hard to tell. It's the best yeah. ones are hard to tell. I did see you on Dr. Phil and I wasn't sure if you were trolling or not. Dude, it's like trolling as a word has uh, been kind of bastardized in my opinion. Because as a troll, you all, you're only a real troll if you give everybody a little out. Like if you give them a little clue that it's not real. That's part of the art form. Yeah, I agree. You got to leave at least a few subtle hints that you're full of shit. Yeah. Like wearing this... aviators on television. That's a that's a subtle <laughs> hint. <laughs> it's true. I would do it, but I wouldn't even be trolling. That's just my I think bad you, taste. I think you elicited more than one, uh, what the hell is wrong with you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you can't believe this. Like, oh, you, you think? You think I... <laughs> You're saying that out loud? No shit, you fat idiot. I can't believe it. Nobody could believe it. It's preposterous. I love it. All right, this let's one take a look. This one's one of the harder ones because it comes from a kid, and they're even harder to read with troll or not a troll. Okay, guys. I'm going to swallow this green crayon. I'm just going to... I don't know. I never really ate a crayon, and this is my first video. It's a challenge. I'll do challenges, too, so... Okay. See, it's like green. <laughs> it's like kind of broke on the top though, because it's just okay, like someone else is coming in. Like, okay. Yeah. Is like, this from Kevin Spacey's playlist or what the hell, guys? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this this one's uh, Kevin. Kevin sent this one in. I see another person snuck in this room. In the room that we're in? No, in this fucking, uh, behind this fucking kid. There was a oh, person yeah, yeah, yeah. Stuck in the room. I bet little kid. I mean, he's actually eating time, the fucking so crayon. He's gonna try it. This was sent to me as a troll or not a troll. It really doesn't taste like nothing. People are saying not a troll. This wax. Some people are saying this is Repsion as a kid. Repsion as a kid. This is Repsion two years ago, then. Yeah. 
All right, so he ate a fucking crayon. Where's the trolling? I don't know. This was sent to me as a troll or not a troll. It's weird that like the kid's mom walked by. It wasn't like, why? Stop eating crayons. Don't eat crayons on YouTube. I told you once. I told you a million fucking times. I mean, he's going to have a great time when he shits that out. Like, you guys ever have a dog that get into a box of crayons and you're just walking around picking up rainbow shit for two weeks? (laughs) Dude, I fucking had a pug that ate a bunch of marshmallows, and he shat marshmallow consistency shits everywhere. Yeah, this is, that's a good one. This Little one's not a troll. Not only was that not a troll, that fucking sucked. Yeah, that was terrible. I, uh, you know, I don't have time to watch all this shit. So it's kind of like, a, all right, yeah, not a troll. Yeah, good. thank you. All yeah, right. So when one you crayon, out, let's see it? the whole box. Like, I want a <laughs> fistful of crayons, you little piece of shit. You think you're going to get views? You think you're going to get views eating one crayon? Anybody could do that. Well, he's a got fistful. Kevin's face in view anyway. There you go. I agree. So when you burn it down, Anderson, what are you left with? People are discriminating against wolves. They're laughing at us, at our stupidity. TJ? See, there's TJ on CNN. I, I just want to get... I want to get your opinion, Dick. Doesn't he look like a defeated man here? <laughs> I mean, you look a lot cooler now, man. <laughs> you got like a BB makeover and a goatee makeover and some shade. You're more clothing than man. You're no more accessories than man now, and it's that's, working that's for the you. Thing, you know, yeah, you, the less of me you actually see, the cooler I am. Yeah. You know? It's like looking at Ray Romano in season one versus like season seven. Like season one, you're like, who the fuck? Yeah, everybody should kick this guy's ass. But season seven, you're like, oh, he's a he's a rich, respectable man. Or like Riker before his beard or some shit. Oh shit. And you better well learn to Don't even get me started on Riker's beard and his peel away beard. I can't even handle that shit. Peel away peel away sideburns, dude. Peel away yes. sideburns. Okay. I can't believe I was too chicken shit to ask that question at the convention. Anyway, that's the, what was that's that? another what was story. the question you're gonna ask? All right, All right. Hold on. Well, okay, listen. I'll explain. Or go yeah. ahead, TJ. Okay, you go ahead, Ben. Yeah. You go ahead. You're the All one right. who pointed out to me. You go ahead and, and tell him. And I showed it to you and we laughed our asses off. Like okay, so uh Jonathan Frakes, the guy who played Commander Riker in Star Trek the Next Generation, uh directed we'll pretend, an I don't know who that is. <laughs> He directed an episode of DS9 where he played Thomas Riker, uh, the the clone, the transporter clone right. of Commander Riker. But at the beginning of the episode, you think it's Commander Riker, and he uh, he like kind of like seduces Major Kira into like taking her out on a on a spin on a shuttlecraft, and oh, while God. he has the, her there alone, he hits her with a phaser. And then he peels off his sideburns, his fake sideburns, and that's when it's revealed it's not actually Commander Riker. It's uh, Thomas Riker, who's now a Maquis agent. <laughs> but my question is, why did he have to put fake sideburns on? Couldn't he have grown them? <laughs> and like, I mean, like, would anyone have been like, you're not Commander Riker. Commander Riker has sideburns. What? I mean, don't they have, like, augmented reality contact lenses in, like, the fucking year 24,000 that alerts you of a weird fuck wearing fake facial hair in front of you? Yeah. <laughs> like, this is the future, right? We're still foiled by by glue-on sideburns? Oh, <laughs> oh guys, guess what? Uh, the only thing our I, chat I, has to say, our chat is now saying, Hey, that was the Defiant, not a shuttlecraft! <laughs> All right, so, good. Sorry about that, guys. Sorry. We're really sorry. Um, hey, show them that fucking ad, dude. Show them that political ad I sent you. That's got to be oh, the first Oh, fuck. Thing. It's not the first thing on my list, but I'll, I'll pull it you up. Gotta, we got to do it first. All right, here uh, it is. Have you seen this? No, I haven't seen this. Okay, let's just watch the whole... <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> So the KKK is in the neighborhood, ready to lynch yeah. some uh, darkies right now, right? Yep, that's right. Okay. <laughs> Still coming. I like how it's a Ford uh, off-road truck. 
that Gillespie guy you see on there is the guy whose ad is running against, by the way. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, this is a political run, run, ad. Run. Come on! <laughs> the don't tread on me, snake. Is so this like a what Donald Trump Freddy and Ed Kruger? Gillespie mean by the American dream? Latino Victory Fund paid for- Yeah, he'll get you in your dreams. Britain is yeah, responsible dude. for the content this of this advertisement. Crazy, you know, this crazed uh, fucking Confederate flag waving Gillespie fucking supporter just running kids down in his truck in their dreams, dude. Hey, I mean, uh, you know, fuck kids. I'll vote for that guy. Fuck kids just loitering around the park. Especially brown oh. ones, you know? Yeah. Who needs them? Little yes. brown kids are just the turd in the punch bowl of life. All right. So, uh, first news story we have is Kevin Spacey apologized after sexual harassment accusation. Oscar-winning actor Kevin Spacey is apologizing after another actor accused him of an unwanted sexual advance. Anthony Rapp claims the incident happened back in 1986 when he was 14 and Spacey was 26. Spacey responded with a statement on Twitter saying, I'm Twitter? beyond horrified to Twitter. hear his story. I honestly do not remember the encounter. It would have been over 30 years ago. But if I did behave, then, as he describes, I owe him the sincerest apology for what... Is Spacey gay? Yeah, he came yeah. out in his uh, little apology to, uh, oh. I think, to distract a little bit, like a little bit of, yeah. a little bit of smoke, you know. Psh, hey, hey, I'm coming out, everybody. Yeah, I'm gay. It's all good. And oh, but I he see. also came out as bi, which I thought was weird. Like he had to throw in, "I'm gay." Uh, but by the way, I have banged a lot of chicks. You know, I've banged some chicks. I have banged some dudes. At this point, pretty much just dudes. You know, and there was a. Look, there was a fucking brief time in the 80s where I fucked a couple of kids, but don't worry about that. Yeah. It, you know, it's kind of interesting because his, like, breakaway role was, like, a dude who wanted to fuck his teenage daughter's friend. You remember yeah. that? Which one was, no, what was that? American Beauty. Uh, American oh, Beauty. no shit, yeah. And then the header on his Twitter page right now is, like, him looking old as hell with, like, a very young man in front of him, kind of giving him a side eye. It's like, dude, maybe change your header just, <laughs> yeah, yeah. For, just for today. I mean, I think Kevin Spacey probably at this point should just take his $80 million net worth and sort of just vanish away, you know? Yeah. Probably best for him at this point. Would have been deeply inappropriate, drunken behavior. Spacey added that rap. I've made that excuse so many times in my life. It's so weird that he can't remember it. It's weird that he can't remember it, but he remembers that he was drunk. Look, yeah. it was <laughs> drunken behavior. If I don't remember it, but was man, was I drunk. Smashed. Urged him to go public about his sexuality. He wrote, as those closest to me know, in my life, I have had relationships with both men and women. I have yeah, loved right. and had romantic encounters with men throughout my life. And I choose now to live as a gay man. I want to deal with this honestly and openly, and that starts with examining my own behavior. CNN has not independently verified those allegations uh, from rap and uh he's had, we've reached out to both rap and spacey's representatives he said it in an interview and tweeted about it as well so i mean i don't i mean you're not gonna get any more confirmation than that from him yeah, not like he's gonna I, fucking pull some video of that night out of his fucking sock or something i'll tell you what yeah. though here's here's what we predicted though like starting with what uh you know harvey weinstein like now, any any dude that's ever like remotely been weird with anyone is going to get reported. Even you know, pre former President Bush. So. Oh yeah, yeah, that was a fucking weird one, man. Like yeah. uh, it's it seems so shitty to to throw a ninety year old man in a wheelchair under the bus like that. But if it happened to like if it happened to my wife, I would say. Hey, fuck that guy. I would like to. You're gonna gr you're gonna grab her ass and then make a 
David Copperfield joke in front of everybody, I think I should get one free fucking punch on the president. Huh. Fuck you. You know, by the way, uh, David Copperfield was also accused of rape. <laughs> Who else? David Copperfield back in the day was accused of rape at one point, too. Cool. Everybody. Which is kind of ironic. It's the big new trend now. Everyone's raping people. My favorite part of uh, Kevin Spacey's apology is that he's beyond horrified. Like, well, I mean, like every 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 moment is a waking nightmare for me as Kevin Spacey. I'm be I have seen horrors in this moment that I cannot retell. Like, give me a fucking break, dude. All right, so we're gonna get into this garbage about the the Russia collusion because it's in the news everywhere. Yep. Well, I think you all saw today that President Donald Trump was correct. There is no evidence. And Mr. Manafort or the Trump campaign colluded with the Russian government. Mr. Manafort represented pro-European Union campaigns for the Ukrainian. And in that, he was seeking to further democracy and to help the Ukraine come closer to the United States and the EU. Those activities ended in 2014. Aren't lawyers two supposed years. to have, like, charisma and be able to convince you of <laughs> shit? Not necessarily I mean, charisma. I mean, I don't know, you know, you gotta fucking, you're supposed to be able to, oh, to no. control oh, no. people a little, you know? I've seen plenty of lawyers that have zero charisma. That, that That's not what you need. Well, here, you can add this one to the fucking tally, then. They, lawyers they are like Dungeons and Dragons, man. They all have different skills. Like, you got True. the charisma lawyer, you got the trial lawyer, and you got, like, the autism lawyer that just knows everything. <laughs> they sent the wrong one out in this case. True. They sent the garbage man lawyer out. Yeah, I mean, like, you know, you need, like, the PR lawyer to come out yeah. there. And fucking spin a yarn about how you're a fucking victim of circumstance and shit. He needs more hand Mr. Manafort served in the Trump campaign. Today, you see an indictment brought by an office of special counsel that is using a very novel theory to prosecute Mr. Manafort regarding a FARA filing. The United States government has only used that offense six times since 1966 and only resulted in one conviction. The second thing about this indictment that I myself find most ridiculous is a claim <laughs> that maintaining offshore accounts to bring all your funds into the United States as a scheme to conceal from the United States. I'll tell you what, this, I, I can, this guy is visibly shaken. I don't think he's ever had a case this high profile. I don't know, I could be wrong, but I can, t I can tell this guy isn't used to like the press being totally around him, I don't know. It just doesn't seem uh, like. What is this in guy in behind him doing? Like, man, this footage of the back of this fucker's head is just going to be priceless. Yeah. yeah, I don't know. It's government compared to Manafort. He's extremely high energy. Like <laughs> Manafort looks like he's a weekend at Bernie's like corpse that they got puppeting around whenever he's on TV. I think the yeah, I think Bernie th corpse actually moved around a little more. I think yeah. this guy did a rail before he came out. Probably and the second one was fucking dancing and shit, you know? A rail of <laughs> sausages. So he talks like <laughs> straight out of Chicago, like straight out of the Blues Brothers. Ridiculous. Thank you. Well, me talk, what about, what's the White House thing? All right. Uh, here, here's the next one, Dick. I noticed on your Twitter that uh, before your Twitter got suspended, it was erased. Yeah. The o the only person you followed was the president, Donald Trump. Yeah. Uh, you know, I'm a huge Trump fan. I, I try I try to be an asshole about it only when it's fun funny. But I'm not going to lie to you guys. Oh uh, well, th that's fine. You know, like honestly, yeah, we have plenty of Trump fans on this show. Yeah. And, and what that's are you guys? Cool. Uh, well, <laughs> to be honest with I mean, you, I don't love like, Trump. You're either with us way. or against us. All right, I'll put it this way: I don't like Trump, but I have. I'm not. I would never. If someone asked me, like, would you rather have Hillary right now? I'm not the kind of person that would say yes. TJ yeah. didn't vote. TJ didn't vote. I, I voted. Vote. I voted I for vote. probably like what you would consider the worst candidate. I voted for Jill Stein. Oh yeah. Yeah yeah. yeah see Unless yeah. She's yeah, yeah. You know. You know, it was weird as she I don't I don't know if everyone's bored of politics, but it was weird how Jill Stein was kind of on Trump's side in a lot of things. 
Sure. Uh, well, she was better than Hillary. She was like really better than Hillary. Yeah, because she's not a criminal. Yeah, I'll give you yeah. that. Yeah, and and she's honest. That that's another thing. At least she was honest about what she thought, and yeah. that's that's different too. So, yeah. but she the the Trump following. Like I'm really far leftist, but I'll vote for someone who's more honest about what they want to do. And Would yeah, you vote so, for Paul. Would I vote for Paul? Ron Paul, dude. Oh, <laughs> Ron Paul. Ah. Uh, that's tough. Uh, probably. Because that guy's I mean, like, he's totally conservative, but he's really fucking honest about his it policies. It is true. You know what, yeah. though? I like him. And, and I like uh, I like Jesse Ventura a lot, too. If Jesse Ventura would have ran for president, I would have voted for him. So I thought I it was know. cool in the last election how I, I seemed to get along more with the uh, like Bernie bros and left extremists than I did with like main uh, more middle of the road, like Hillary supporters. Uh, that was that was. That was nice. Hillary supporters are fucking garbage. And I think they I, I think that to this fucking day. Because yep. Hillary is a piece of shit. And anyone who could in good conscience vote for that piece of shit is insane. I agree. Uh that was a big election for me because in my book, I said if a woman is ever president, I'll eat this book. And then ten years later, people were like, Well, you said it. Are you gonna eat your book if Hillary wins? I like, yeah, I guess uh Uh TJ and his brother had a one thousand dollar bet, and TJ uh, was on Trump's side, and his brother was on Hillary's. And the night before the elections, TJ's brother was like double or nothing, and TJ wouldn't take it. And if he would have taken ah. it, he would have won two thousand dollars. <laughs> so, yeah. He, after the grab the pussy thing, like I, I thought Trump was done. I thought he was done at that point. Just because of the way people react to that shit. America loves pussy. What can we say? <laughs> it didn't we matter. Do. We do, we do. All right. Uh, Trump remains defiant amid the Manafort charges. President Trump remained defiant today, if only on Twitter, reasserting there was no collusion with Russia and that the feds should instead focus their investigation on Democrats. Chief White House correspondent John Roberts joins us from the North Lawn with that part of the story. Good evening, John. Brad, good evening to you. From the very beginning, President Trump has insisted that his campaign did not collude with Russia to try to influence the outcome of the U.S. election. If there was collusion, any evidence of that or even an allegation of it has yet to be revealed by the special counsel. President Trump pushed back hard against any notion that the Manafort Gates indictment had any trail to him or his campaign, tweeting this morning, quote, sorry, but this is years ago, before Paul sorry. Manafort was part of the Trump <laughs> campaign. That sounds Canadian as fuck. But why are crooked sorry. Hillary and the Dems the focus? Also, there is no collusion. <laughs> also, in the daily briefing, press <laughs> so, so, but seriously, can you, can you account for like the obvious contradictions that Trump does? Like where he like tweets something and then it ends up being like the total opposite of the way it is. You know, it's it's like case by case basis because it's so the it's so fucked up. Like the story that I get from the news, this like the stories that I hear from people about what happened. I listen to them like, man, I got the totally opposite story of understanding of the those world events than you did, and I don't know how that happened. I don't know who you're listening to. I don't know what you wanted it to be, but the, that there's any fact or truth in any of this reporting is um, is a fantasy to me. I don't know. Secretary Sarah Sanders not only sought to distance the White House from Manafort, but also downplayed his role, ignoring the fact he was campaign chairman for three months. Today's announcement has nothing to do with the president, has nothing to do with the president's campaign or campaign activity. Paul Manafort was brought in to lead the delegate process, which he did, uh, and was dismissed not too long after that. The Democratic leader. On Capitol Hill, Democrats wasted no time in playing connect the dots. What we know now is that an alleged unregistered foreign agent was given the chairmanship of a campaign for the presidency of the United States and with it untold influence on a future president. I'll tell you one thing, uh, and this has, to, this has to do with Democrats and Republicans. 
throughout my entire life and 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 even before that in like recent history if the Democrats can find a reason to fuck with the Republican president, they will, and vice versa. If they can remove yep. them, I mean, that's just the way it is. They tried it yep. with Clinton. They, they, they're trying it with Trump. They tried it with Bush. I mean, like, oh, yeah. I mean, I didn't vote like I didn't vote before Trump because I think they're all scumbags. Like, I think it's just a big. I think it's just political theater, and they're all just trying to get more money and power. Because, but I actually believe Trump, so I voted for him. Uh, I wouldn't just vote. For an, I wouldn't vote for just a guy because he's Republican because I think they're all fucking full of shit. Like, I think one side is just one side is military welfare and the other side is just vote welfare. It's all just so, giving money away for votes. So so before we go any further, can we have this conversation? I mean, like, I think Trump sucks as president. Like, so far, I think he, like, really sucks. Like, I wanted to give him a chance. But I, first of all, I, I don't think I honestly don't think he's smart enough to be president. But he has a, he has a very high IQ for all the losers and haters. Did you not hear that? <laughs> okay, that yes, was his tweet. Right. He tweeted that. Right. <laughs> well, what, okay, let me ask you this: What do you think his goals were? Because I'm a Trump voter and I'm satisfied with the job he's done. TJ, you want to start? Like I'm satisfied with the way he's handling like, North Korea. You brought up the, you wanted to have the the debate. Okay, about okay, that. that's fine. All right, that's fine. Like in in general, Trump, what has he even accomplished? Like even the things he's promised, he's scaled back on, right? Which is why I and I think a lot of people voted for him because he says he's going to make do these outrageous things. That okay, let's like DACA for example. He's like. We're going to crack down on DACA. We might deport all these kids and it's going to be the worst thing ever. But then he scales it back as he like negotiates with the Democrats so that he can. <laughs> well, so that, look, like he sets these. You huge, read. Go ahead. If you read Art of the Deal, I mean, he does talk about that being his his deal making philosophy of, you know, come to someone with a really unpalatable deal so that they'll negotiate down to, you know, like Some, making Mexico pay for the wall. Like, I don't yeah. give a fuck if Mexico pays for the, the wall. wall but I'll tell you what. The wall isn't even... Ha I mean, like, they might build a segment or two of this wall, but it's not happening. The wall I'll is not happening. I'll bet you a thousand fucking bucks that the wall happens. Oh, uh, from, from coast to coast, a wall is going to happen. It's going to be a wall. Hold it's on. Be no, 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 no. That's not what I'm asking you. I'm asking you, will there be a coast to coast wall that is Look, built by the truck? No, 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 no. I'm even asking Trump, you. Even you want to bet money, that. dude? Let's bet it. I do. I think mean, there won't be a coast to coast wall Certainly. completed gonna, in the next not, eight years. But even Trump says he's not going to build the wall in, under over certain terrain because it's already inhospitable enough. So Mountains and stuff. Exactly. There will be an impenetrable nope. barrier. Between the U.S. and Mexico. Okay, well, if you there think they're impenetrable, is. I mean, you know. Well, hold on. Impenetrable? Impenetrable, yes. I bet you a million dollars. No, you know what I because mean. Because nothing like a, is like impenetrable. A, something that will take, like, something that you'll look at and go, that's a fucking wall right there. Oh, like, you, you know what? Well, uh, I've been to the Mexican border so many times, it's already, like, really hard to cross. I don't I have mean, any fucking uh, I don't I don't I don't have any fucking real issue with the wall one way or the other except I think it's a waste of money because I don't think it's gonna happen. I don't fucking see it stopping shit. There's already tunnels. There's already hundreds of tunnels. I mean, and people where, can just climb over the fucking thing. It's not gonna be that hard. I so mean, they're th gonna build it fucking. There are three, tunnels three hundreds of miles from the border that people can go under and come up hundreds of miles from the other side. It's also of the a lot of issues. Look, guys, I'm half Mexican. I know all about the tunnels that are in the the land <laughs> and shit. All right, don't tell, yeah, yeah. don't fucking tell me where the tunnels are. I know so, where they are. All right, tell me where they are. Uh, Give me the location of a tunnel. You have to, be, you have to want that. You have to really need a tunnel, and then it's there for you. It's like oh, Harry it's, Potter's. Is yeah, being yeah. half Mexican really like a real insight yeah. into that, though? Oh yeah. Like, no, my dad's so guys... full on Mexican. Uh, the border crossed us, motherfucker. I'm, I'm half. I'm fifty one percent Mexican, in fact. So I all Mexicans shake. are just given the insights and where all of the the tunnels are, or what? Hey, we feel it. You feel it in our blood. <laughs> you feel it. <laughs> says it. Dude. You gotta believe it, dude. No, if I just don't think the, it, I, I don't understand come. how the wall is going to stop people from crossing if they really want to. Because I mean, 
I, just, uh, I, no. I think it's more it about more symbolic than anything to me. There's so I, I think we can play like a stats game where you say, oh, there's countries that have a wall and it. I like, don't do the statistics. Bullshit. Me either. Me either. But there is a there is a tremendous amount of illegal immigration, like a guy filling up a box truck with dudes and women who've all been raped to get there and like trucking them across some back street um around uh, around Juarez like there's a tremendous amount of illegal immigration I can say it right can come on say it right for me what is <laughs> thank you a coyote. yeah <laughs> I think it'll uh, you know w will it actually work it's it's just like it would be uh, uh stupid to say that I know it will work but uh it's a nice it's it's very symbolic for starters and it's something that can't be reversed in the future like a simple Upgrade of ICE can, which is important to guy to people who voted for Trump. Yeah, I just want to. I don't know. I mean, I feel like I don't really mind us securing our border because I mean, you know, we are a country. We have a fucking border. Whatever. Um, I Didn't just don't. The nine eleven hijackers f come from Canada. Why do we? F why do we focus so hard on the southern border? We'll get to them. We're gonna get to Canada. Hold on, but why don't we focus on we the border where the hijackers Canada, came from? Dude. Canada's just going to be... We're going like, to turn them into a few states. Like, like the real... Flag. The, the time where we were like, okay, that's it. It's time to secure our borders because we were yeah. attacked on 9-11. Yeah. We were like, let's secure our fucking borders. But the border that all the hijackers came over... We haven't fucked with that at all. We're like really focused on securing the border that they didn't come over. So why well, is that a top priority? The border that they came over was money. I mean, are, were those guys not like paid for by Saudi Arabia question, to come into though. the country? How are you going to stop like rich? Why people? have we made no legitimate differences in securing the northern border where we know terrorists have come over? When uh, the no the southern border, we we have no evidence that any terrorism has come from there. I mean, so, we have illegal immigration, but sure. But I mean, like, we is found... terrorism a big deal to you? It's not to me. It's not it's... to me. Okay. Because it's like it's like we you know we're not having like a protecting from winning the lottery. Like it never happens in the U.S. Okay. I mean, it happens, you know. But I mean, it's it's pretty fucking. I mean, even if it's it, it's pretty fucking rare. I mean, you know, so, we're not like so on the same on the same side. Pretty... Eight. Crimes committed by illegal immigrants, that's a big deal to you, right? Because we it's, could talk about crimes from illegal immigrants coming from the northern border, too. It's the economy. It's the economy of a quasi-slave labor class that is what's important to me. It's having a tremendous amount of Mexican people in the U.S. that don't have any rights. Like, they don't have any rights, and they are in direct competition with actual citizens who who can't work for as little as they do. Uh, you know, I don't want to play the stats game of who's committing more crimes, but I don't think our system works. I don't think our welfare system works when you can let people come in and add to the very bottom, like, which is what I think Trump was saying when he said there's not sending their best. Like, yeah, they're great. They're great people, but it's not like you take a, it's not like you take a class of of Amer the American strata, like you don't have an equal amount of doctors and blue collar guys and like unemployed guys. You just they all just come in at the bottom and eventually it's going to break the fucking system, in my opinion. I don't know, because I feel that if uh, if we did somehow magically beam for, for like a Star Trek reference all of the illegal immigrants out i feel like there'd be a lot of people not mowing lawns and re-roofing houses well i mean right now kind of shit yeah them are such fucking integral parts of uh of the economy so uh, any sort of sudden change is probably not really advisable um i mean I, I think we should probably just work on securing the fucking border and you know maybe making it a little bit less hospitable for the ones that are here so that they voluntarily deport themselves my question is why is the focus on the southern border over the northern one well i mean because that one's filled with fucking mexican drug cartels and shit and canada's uh -huh. just fucking basically canada's just america. america yeah canada's america just like yeah, you know, I mean, the yeah. fuck, you go to Canada. Well, the drug really cartels could be the drug cartels could be more easily dealt with. 
I think well, you I mean, agree. I, my solution to that is just legalizing the fucking Me drugs. Me too. Like that would be fucking them, so. great, man. That's a big fuck up on Trump that I hope he changes by the end of his two That's terms. what I'm saying. Why do we need to yeah, build a wall little, he, that would cost millions yeah, of fucking like, dollars? But no, the fucking the drug policy of the Trump administration fucks That's sucks. why it sucks. It sucks. That's why I also say like to to the people on the left that say ban guns, it's like there's a new black market from Mexico right there. Yeah. You know? Yeah. So I feel the same way about drugs. Like prohibition tends to be a stupid idea. I mean, like the only things that make sense to prohibit are things that you just really absolutely cannot tolerate in a society. Like you they're know, morally like, wrong, but theft and shit. Yeah, you know, violating other people's fucking life, liberty, or property that should be a fucking crime. You know, is that like the non-aggression principle that libertarians are always talking about? Like that seems like a pretty yeah, good bar. Pretty if, it does, if it hurts yeah. other people, then it's it's illegal, and everyone will stop you from doing it. Yep, I can sign up for that, but everything else, no. Yeah, I'm not really much of a libertarian, but I am on a few issues. So yeah, TJ was formerly a libertarian, though. I used to be. That is true. Yeah. Did you go around screaming? Am I being detained? <laughs> uh, I wasn't quite that libertarian. I hate that I, shit. Yeah. We, I had we a watch... sovereign citizen. I had I my own constitution. Have... If a cop you pulled did? me over, I would go, this car is a sovereign country. I am a, li I am a liberty. Am I being detained? This is my constitutional right in my own country, which is my car. I was a real piece of shit. Did no, you I've get always tased? Been, I've always I was always instructed by my dad, you know, to, to kiss cops' asses and be very respectful and make them feel like they got the big dick and all that, which, you know. Yep. Oh, yeah. It's all good. Anyway. I put on a little dress like Bugs Bunny when I, ever, when I get pulled over. That's how I deal with cops. Subdues the police. Yeah. <laughs> TV Brand officer. Brand oh. How did you manage to see me speeding over all those muscles? <laughs> This, uh, right, I, can't, I can't look at this fuck anymore. Get him off. <laughs> <laughs> the next uh, video is Congressman hearing on Clinton, Russia, long overdue. Uh, Today's revelations about the Podesta group provide further reason to believe that ties between pro-Russian interests and Hillary Clinton deserve a second look. Republican Congressman Dana Rohrbach represents California. He said he spent months trying to get a House hearing on Russia, Manafort, and the Clintons, all without success. Congressman Dana Rohrbacher joins us tonight. Congressman, uh, thanks for coming on. We just spoke to one of your colleagues, also from the California delegation, uh, Eric Swalwell, yeah. uh, nice guy, about the connection between the Congress and Paul Manafort. Um, I think you met with Paul Manafort, so a lot of people met with Paul Manafort. I'm, listen, I've known, I've known Paul Manafort for 40 years. But why uh, shouldn't all there, members there disclose people... that? Well, I, I, I don't know exactly how much... Uh, relationship he had he was a major lobbyist as you have lobbyists in the democratic side and the republican side right but what's important right now at this moment is that paul manaford has not been charged with something that he did during the trump campaign what I we just, were told sorry, was let this, me just say uh, something i can, i'm trying so fucking hard to care yeah <laughs> just, i just fucking can't do it man all right i so, really wish i cared i i mean like from the bottom of my heart i'm like god Come so on, TJ, care if you don't about want to this. talk this about this, stuff. all right, all right, TJ. If you don't want to talk about this, let's talk I mean, I'm about it. I'm not saying that. I'm, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm just saying I'm having very much difficulty. Hold on, homie. Hold you know on. why? It's because Manafort looks like the bad guy from Happy Gilmore. So, TJ, why. TJ, who are we having on the show on uh, Monday, uh, November thirteenth? <laughs> Since you don't want to a, talk about this. Dick Masterson's best friend, Maddox, on the show. Oh! Uh, <laughs> ask him about the restraining orders, girlfriend. Oh, has. here we go. I'm opening it up. Yeah. Open it, now. Open it up. Open it on up. Go ahead. Uh, ask, yeah, me. ask him that. Ask him about the legal defense that he wrote for his fucking girlfriend's restraining order, which she deserves and which she earned by calling my girlfriend's school and trying to get her fired which she admitted in court. Uh, ask him about the, uh, ask him about the, ask him about him threatening a fan with getting people fired unless that fan went on Twitter and went on Facebook and lied for him. Ask him about the 8chan rape list that he made a, he made a video saying I maintained a rape list by screenshotting an 8chan thread. Sorry, and what then, is, what is a, what is a rape list? Is uh, just no a one list knows. of people you're going to rape eventually? No one knows. 
it's okay. a it was a thread on 8chan that some jackass made full of pictures of like Hillary Clinton that says that a catchphrase of Maddox's on the old show, The Biggest Problem in the Universe, was get raped. He would say get raped to people. So people made a rape list. They put they put pictures of like uh they put pictures of Hillary Clinton, like b- bullshit pictures. Maddox used this as evidence in a video about me because I was making fun of him and released it to his personal Facebook page, getting me booted out of UCB Comedy, the UCB Comedy Theater. Ask him about that shit. I could just play this clip from him. <laughs> play that clip, baby. Oh, play the clip. Sweet. It'll be great. I don't know if he'll he'll actually respond to that, but we'll see. He hasn't responded yet. That fucking pussy. He made a video accusing me of embezzling money from his fucking podcast that he ended because I left a wedding with his ex-girlfriend. Wow. While he so, was living with his new fucking girlfriend, Mental Jess, I left a wedding with his ex-girlfriend in like three years. He blew his fucking mind. He called her at work obsessively saying, did you leave the wedding with Dick? Did you leave that wedding with Dick? I I just, I can't, I can't work with a man. I can't work with him anymore if he left, if he left that wedding with you. The guy's a fucking cuck. A cuck of first caliber. A so, king but, cuck, you might say. but, but he was your buddy for, for a while or like what? We were buddies for a long time. We worked on, we had the same editor. Um, we worked together on a, on a couple shows. We made a cartoon together. We made a format show. You know, it's Hollywood. There was, there was always a work, it was like a work buddy relationship. Uh, but we started doing the podcast, The Biggest Problem in the Universe, and he, he turned into such a fucking asshole, uh, culminating in that, culminating in that wedding fiasco where he nuked a, a perfectly successful podcast over an ex-girlfriend. Yeah, and then... Uh, the only Amped thing I could really, the only thing I really, I really could say about Maddox, because uh, I don't know him super well, uh, the only thing I could really say is that, uh, especially in the early years of my channel, his uh, page, the best page in the universe, was yeah. a big inspiration to the style I ended up developing and shit. Uh, and I really enjoyed that page, and uh, I enjoyed uh, some of his earlier YouTube videos. I haven't really watched in a while, but uh, yeah. You know, no, I, you know, I, I really a lot of people. Uh, some of that early output, and I mean, uh, I mean, it's the stuff I've seen recently, I, I've thought was pretty decent, but uh, I don't really know much about this personal, you know, drama between the two of you. So, I mean, I it's not drama; wait. it's a fucking restraining order. Well, like, yeah, I, I, I mean, I consider that drama. The uh-huh. L.A. Superior Court fucking doesn't. Uh, I, I, I respect your, your, your want to keep out of it for the sake of views, but, uh, that's who the fucking guy is. We'll see. Ask him how, ask him if his, if his book sold over a thousand copies too. What a fucking failure. Fuck F, F asterisk CK Wales. What a fucking joke. No balls at all. I don't think it sold over a thousand copies. Uh, here's a, <laughs> we'll move on to the next video. I'm just going to defuse him. it. <laughs> I'll ask him that. Uh, <laughs> Court rules on Trump's ch- transgender troop ban. Do you support this? The transgender troop ban? Yeah, Dick. How do you feel about you know, that? Um That's a real that's a that's a bitch of one, right? Like I don't want to put I don't want to I don't know if transgendered people I don't know how many of them have problems. It's more than it's more than zero because I got a lot of fucking problems. What do you mean by so, problems? Mental problems. Okay. Like, I know, I know, I know. Everybody has mental problems. Do they have? Because I have a shitload of them. Like I don't think I could get admitted into the army. Um, is it safe? Is it a safe environment for them? I don't know, man. Uh, I'm sure a lot of them are are working in the army right now. I don't want to take their jobs away, but by the same token, like I don't want to. I don't want to just declare that we're letting this this group of people who may be similar and may be dissimilar put themselves in a dangerous situation. Like, I don't have to rely on these people for my life. I'll say two things in response to that. Well, uh, one yeah. thing is if the if the military denied everyone that had mental problems, they'd have a lot less people in the military. But I will say that. Uh, when people who make a transition take all those hormonal drugs, it can cause serious issues mentally yeah. because it's changing their entire physiology. So, I mean, I'd like as few people in the military as possible. 
You know what yeah, I'm saying? I, like I don't, I don't know if that's the reason you want though. I mean, I, look, I, I think you you, can, you need a strong military for defense and shit, but I mean, like, we're basically playing a fucking game of international global chess. Well, with the world. if there's yeah. a reason we have a smaller military... We're, we're the def I mean, a lot of countries uh, that, that are not even the U.S. use our military for their defense as well. I mean, it's pretty sure. ridiculous. If there's a reason we have a smaller military, it should be that the government scaled back the military. It shouldn't be that we let less trannies in, you know? That's yeah. not going to put a dent in it. I don't know how many. I, I want to know how many transgender troops hardly there any. are to be. Hardly any. You know, it's, like it's hardly any. And it's so weird that the, that the trans issue keeps coming up considering how few of them there are. 0.3% of the population by most statistics it, I've read, which is it, yeah. one in 333 people, something like that. In my opinion, it's, they should just let them in if they qualify, like physically, if they pass all the tests, boot camp and all that shit. Um, and it shouldn't be a major news story, you know. But a whatever. U.S. court is once again blocking a move by the White House, barring the Trump administration from excluding transgender people from serving in the military. Whoa. Say it's good news because we already changed the policy and there was no reason to change it back. Navy Lieutenant Commander Blake Dreeman is one of thousands of estimated transgender service members. Here they are doing their jobs, doing them well. And all of a sudden, they're being told they're not worthy of being where they are already. Yeah, I mean, if you're a lieutenant commander, that's like an officer position. Yeah. I mean, this person worked hard to get to where they were. If they just get fired because they're trans, that's kind of fucked up. I, I don't know. I mean, opinion. like, who knows? This person might have been put in this position just so that there was some trans visibility uh, in the maybe. military. Maybe. Maybe. Yeah. yeah, look. look you at could us. be right. So progressive. Is that, the, is that this guy's real name, too? It looks like Joanna Man. Dream Man? <laughs> that's not real, Dream is it? Dream Man. President Dream Trump man. announced the change A in July, tweeting that after consulting... After consultation with my generals and military experts, I always read the I always read the tweets in his voice. I yeah. love it. Dot 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 dot. <laughs> what a strange you know, what a strange character thing that really that fucked him up. Like in extending. You, oh no! Oh you, oh, you think he's so long winded? You don't think he's like the kind of guy that only throws a few syllables together? Seriously, no, it, dude. It, it's not as funny. His Twitter isn't as funny because he's not constrained anymore. Like when he when he would run that tweet right up to 140 characters, it was oh, like okay. list. It's like oh, oh okay, you want the shorter one? Characters. I misunderstood. No, yeah, no, no. It's too long now. <laughs> too long. It's too. It's not funny. Yeah, you're right. Hillary would have won if Twitter would have rolled that out sooner. Damn. He had enough space for six dots at the end, too. <laughs> With military experts, the U.S. government would not allow transgender individuals to serve in any capacity, citing tremendous medical costs. Under President Obama, the policy changed to allow transgender individuals to serve. A federal judge here in Washington, D.C. ordered a return to that practice, ruling those who sued over I mean, President like, are Trump's... People are, are trans people joining the military to get their operations paid for or something? I mean, that'd be kind of weird. I don't know. I'd, I'd like to know the stats on that. Like, how many join as, you know, one gender and then leave as another? I don't know. I feel like... I, whether transgender people should be allowed or not, I don't think transitioning people should be allowed. The I one feel that like really be, uh, you got to be on the other end of the fucking spectrum. The uh, one that really the question of what exactly are you doing in the military too? Like what? what okay, so we're paying for this surgery. Like what are you guys doing every day? Can we can we cut back a little bit? Like what's what exactly are you doing every day, and why are we paying for it? Yeah, yeah, I mean, the, make any sense, especially if the they're one transitioning that, while they're serving. That doesn't make any sense. Yeah. The one that really threw me off was Bradley Manning. When when they announced Bradley Manning was Chelsea Manning, I was like, really? Like, what? I, I Have you know. seen her Twitter? I love no. her fucking Chelsea. Twitter. It's one of my you know, favorite Twitters. It's, it's funny, like, with, uh, they just want to be treated like a woman, right? Like, Chelsea just wants to be treated... If I saw a woman tweeting, like, that shit with all those emojis all over the place, I would I would say, hey, someone needs to shut this bitch up. She's embarrassing herself. Like, it's it's like it's like a Care Bear taking a shit, her Twitter. Oh, yeah. The emojis are crazy. Give me a fucking I break. Mean, her, tw her Twitter is classic, though, dude. Like, today, I saw, I was scrolling past. I saw someone said, uh, someone was like, traitor. 
And she's just like, yeah, I'm ordering a pizza. Smiley face, this emoji, that emoji. It's like, okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's so like, yeah, you know, so she's trolling now. Serious yeah. accusations like, you're a fucking traitor in this country. It's like, that's great. I'm eating pizza now. <laughs> wasn't, wasn't I'm Chelsea fucking Manning, bitch. Wasn't she in solitary know, for like that. three years or something? Wouldn't that? I mean, yeah. Like, Long that's time. Great, I mean, yeah. That might gotta fuck, fuck your you brain up, man. a little bit too, you know? Who knows? Hey guys, can I take can I take two seconds to shut this fucking noise off that I got going in the pipes behind me? I yeah, can't sure. hear it. Ed. All right. So yeah, I think now's the time to open it up to Streamlabs. Streamlabs. Since our guest uh, slipped away for a second. So I'm it's opening so it up now. It is now open. Escape and shit. I guess it's like, oh shit, I gotta get off this fucking show at all costs. Yeah. I gotta get out of here. Oh damn, man! I just like ate like a whole bunch of food. I gotta go take a shit for like two hours now. Didn't know See I was you later. Up this show with a Maddox fanboy and some kind <laughs> of fucking commie. Yeah. Green party. Yeah, no, fucking... that's the only. That's the only time I. Uh, pff, it's the only How'd you time get into I ever Jill voted. Stein, man? Well, like the area I come from, you're either a Democrat or you're like left of Democrat. Ever like? I mean, I'm in LA, dude. That's it's it's uh, similar. We we do. And it's not that I'm not open to new ideas or anything, but I'm still pretty yeah, liberal on many things. And I just I wanted to prove that someone could be on the left and not vote for Hillary because I don't. I didn't like Hillary, and I would have never voted for. I, I did right. vote. I voted for Obama the first time. I like yeah. Obama better than Hillary. You know, yeah. so. Manafort indictment bombshell, money laundering, conspiracy against U.S. line, FBI, millions from Russian sources, blah blah blah. I missed the rest. Sorry. Better and luck. I voted. I voted in Ohio too, where it actually mattered a lot. No but. shit. Yeah. Dear Dick, I'll become president and ban all guns. Try to stop me. Also, welcome to DP, you fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Rand Paul will stop you, bitch. Rand in motherfucking In Kentucky, Paul. that motherfucker ain't stopping anybody, man. Yeah. In Kentucky. I feel like Trump's taking him under his wing and, like, teaching him how to shit talk, though. Like that's my I, every weekend those guys have a catch. Trump has a catch with Rand Paul, and he like he like teaches him how to talk shit online, yeah. like a montage. This person says, "Dick, go fuck yourself." Winky face. All right, go fuck yourself too, me Lerman. Yeah, I told you. I told you before the show. Our fans, they're like, they don't like someone they don't like. You know. No, that's a. I that's think. A, I think that person's. Uh, I think that person's being nice. Maybe yeah, that's what Dick is for. Little wink there. Scam situation. Cheers to Ben, the hardest working peasant. Cheers. Three cheers. Hip hip hooray. TJ's like, ben, I love those sideburns real. <sighs> Dude, he just ripped those sons of bitches right off. Yeah. I mean, like, he peels them off like Velcro from the side of his face <laughs> and smiles, and it's like, that's not Commander Riker. Uh. Have you gone back and watched that since TJ? Me? Yeah. yeah. Uh, a few times. Yeah. I mean, I show it to people sometimes. It it's is ridiculous. laughable. You might want to go I try to see if you could grab that on YouTube. Yeah. I mean, it's bound to be there. It's fucking absurd. How do you guys rank <laughs> the Star Treks? What's your, uh, what's your, How do I, you mean the show? Oh. Yeah. 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 Cause I'm a I, TNG guy. Yeah. Uh, TNG is amazing. Mm -hmm. We went to the big uh, convention in Vegas one year, and all of the big actors from TNG, DS9, Voyager, uh, and even, uh, what was the last one? Enterprise. They were all there. And every uh, fanboy had I come in their uh, pants, the whole, oh, the yeah, whole yeah. convention center. As for Dude. my fucking rankings, I don't know. I like DS9 probably a little bit better than TNG. But, Interesting. Uh, uh, I, I do definitely too. love TNG. is probably my second favorite. Probably then Voyager. Probably then original series. And then I haven't really watched Enterprise or uh, or um, Discovery at all. So I don't know. How has YouTube Red revenue been affected by the adpocalypse? And Discovery have you seen is TV shit. Using the service now. Uh, YouTube Red actually pays us pretty well. I don't really like yes. the fact that they do because that kind of encourages me to go and tell people to 
get that, which I don't really want to do because I hate YouTube. It does, <laughs> though. The fact of the matter is we do get paid well from YouTube Red. I used to think Dick cool. was a dick when I saw him on Dr. Phil as a kid. Then I grew up and realized he's right about everything. Goddamn right. His. He's, he's the rightest motherfucker that's ever been written, dude. And he I means do have his the, right about everything. Don't I do correct have the his Riker grammar. Video. I I'm do have sorry. the Riker I video I queued up. A, you know, custom grammar fix there, but okay. I'm not, I don't mean to be an editor. You, know? <laughs> you let the man's truth speak. <laughs> if his right about everything, then that's what it is. <laughs> that's his last yeah, who word. am I to crush freedom of expression, you know? Yeah. What Post. are you, Twitter? Uh, yeah, sometimes. TJ, sometimes. how did you never manage to get banned from Twitter? I have no fucking idea. I, I have know. said so much oh. fucked up shit, it's not even funny. I've literally threatened to murder people on Twitter. <laughs> and it hasn't amounted to shit. Dude, and I'll you... tell you straight up, I think it's like report armies. Um, a buddy, low tax. You know, the guy, you know, remember something awful, that forum, way back yeah. in the 90s? So low tax, the guy who wrote it recently got banned because he told Baked Alaska that he wanted to fill a room. He wanted to put him in a room and fill it up with cement. Like a, a, yeah. a ridiculous Looney Tunes uh, but, comment. And he got banned for that because so many fans see it and hit that report button. But, I think it's automated. Well, well, yeah. here's one thing about that, though. Like, you you know, I noticed that you have a great deal of popularity, but you didn't have, like, a Twitter following like TJ. TJ has, like, over 100,000 followers on Twitter. And, like, he's never been reported to, the to like, you know, the extensiveness that you've mentioned I'd, e yeah. I'd easily trade those twitter followers for his patreon dude yeah. <laughs> that See, is pretty awesome i will that's say my that precious. that's my fucking my precious. make sure you keep those <laughs> fucking faggots happy dude because wow that's some good shit but right seriously there. though like hey wait where are you guys at are you near chicago either of you i am uh, i am currently in uh basically the new orleans greater area and ben is in fun. seattle Okay, um, we're doing a live show in Chicago in December. Uh, we're doing one in Portland. I mean, I don't know. It's presumptuous of me to ask, but if you guys are in the area, the Dick Show. We, we do live shows. Dickshow.com is doing a live show. We do also do live shows. Show physically assaulting people in multiple videos that have resurfaced lately. I think those yeah. are fucking awesome because they were all on a TV show uh, from back oh, in the day. Oh, that Joe. Yeah, it's fun. Yeah. It's fun. I don't give a shit. He can assault whoever he wants. Have Dude, him, don't fuck. If you got a problem with him assaulting someone, get in his face and talk shit, bitch. Look at all those videos. Who won every time? Get in his face and say that. <laughs> That's all I have to. I, you know what? I tried to step to Joe and he fucking choked me out like a crazy motherfucker. So I wouldn't fuck with him. He's crazy. I was talking drunk Damn. shit last uh, on the last private show. And I just want to say you I should fight him. Shit. You should fight nope. him. Nope. <laughs> Your guest wants to frown upon a sweet. He doesn't look like he's strong, but he is. Sold on One thousand copies. Maddox has been delivering since the beginning, nineteen ninety four, with a huge unsung cult fan base. Be nice. Yeah. Well, it's drivel, but thanks for the ten dollars. He should have put ads on his website since nineteen ninety four. Then he wouldn't have two roommates Scam in the shithole in West Hollywood. <laughs> Fuck Maddox, that piece of shit. <laughs> Dick Patriani here. Do a road rage in the Bay Area heart. Nice. We're what doing is Portland, road man. Rage? Road rage is my road show, my traveling show. I'll come down to Portland, uh, man. Like I, I, I love that shit. Like I've been yeah, down dude, there. It's fucked. The the road rage shows are a they're a beast, dude. It's we like, did a thing fuck. down in Portland. We did a thing down in Portland. Uh, uh, we. We did a show up here in Seattle. We drew like 200 people. Normally we can do that. Here's someone trying to weigh in on the trans thing. HRT doesn't lead to mental health decline in trans people. Some experience small emotional shifts, but it's very comparable to natural puberty and is only temporary. They should be able to serve as long as they're mentally stable. I guess that's what that was going with. I mean, that's Damn like, sick. like what is mentally stable, right? Is like, Joe strong enough to deflect a bullet? That's what this person wants to know. Physically or mentally? Yeah, you better, you better get a, a follow. You know, he asked you a follow up question, so you got to get uh, more money into us as soon as possible. Let no, us know. I don't think Joe could deflect a bullet, shoot him, murder him, whatever. 
scam city. If 420 will be an entire episode of Strains You Love, I will Joseph Martelli your asses. Whatever. <laughs> you know, so. Sorry, That's too many we inside were, jokes for that we one. Were, we were stalked by a guy named Joseph Martelli, and he showed up to one of our live events that we had. Oh, no shit. And he got chased down the street by, like, an angry mob of, like, 50 people. <laughs> It was the craziest thing ever. It's awesome. Do you guys think Chris Raygun would have reported Dick for telling him to eat a cinder block, or is it more likely that the SJWs just finally succeeded in removing him from that platform? Um, they're talking about my Twitter ban. I was in an argument with Chris Raygun for promoting Maddox when I told someone else, not Chris Raygun, to eat a cinder block. Cinder blocks, by the way, are edible. Rats eat them. Uh, people have compulsions to eat cinder blocks. I looked it up after the fact to prove that it wasn't a violent threat. Uh, I think it's, I got a lot of enemies. I got enemies at the, at the, uh, at the corporate level, like all the, all the, uh, all the assholes who have poli sci degrees that like entered to be at a, like who applied for a job that says be a part of Twitter's safety council. The people who applied to that job do not like me. So when when a when a report of Dick Masterson being an asshole slides across their little terminal, they are it's they're immediately on the ban this fuck forever button. I think it's that, and I don't know. I I, I talk shit like I like to get drunk on Twitter and talk shit. It's fun. It's fun to tell people to eat a cinder block and to go fuck themselves. It, like that's what it, that's what the internet was always for to me, and I fucking started it with you with guys like you. And guys who like to talk shit, people who are up until three in the morning, who have no hobbies and no life, we started the fucking internet, and we started it by arguing with each other on forums and telling each other to go fuck themselves. And they're taking <laughs> these pretty boy sacks of shit, these pretty fucking, these pretty pieces of shit, these, the beautiful people, the Eloys, they're taking our invention away from us, the Morlocks, who are in rightful deservement of the fucking internet. And it drives me crazy. Because they're going to keep pressing us like mole people till we're back underground. We have to make a new internet. It's going to be a crypt. It's going to be a Bitcoin slash cryptography internet. And it's going to last forever. And they could have their, their shitty celebrity internet. They could fuck themselves with it. But we're going to do it. We're going to do it. And I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it at patreon.com slash the dick show. Yeah, there it is. Love it. There's the plug. Let's That's see what the people are saying. Scam situation. Fuck yeah. yourself with a cinder block. Fuck you. Uh, you know what? This is right here. Ryby Jenkins. She's one of the people responsible for you being here. I know. And there's I love also. Her. You do. Yeah. Have you have you paid for her foot porn before? Is that what she's into? Oops. Yeah, well, that, that, that's well, like her thing. Into. That's yeah. what the people who pay to watch her do that are into. Yeah. Have you guys ever been with a chick who's into feet? No. no. I have. It's weird. I couldn't even do that because if anyone even touches my feet, I'm going to I'll go fucking ape shit. So. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. Why? Because they're fucking insanely ticklish. Like, if, if I can't even take my socks off without fucking laughing, so... <laughs> <laughs> why you just giggling to yourself yeah you know, just wear, that's why i wear shoes like 24 7 i can't handle that shit no one can you touch can't me. wear flip-flops because it's no ticklish. no also oh, if, I, man. if i if my fucking bear almost but look i've had my foot in the sun in nice france oh for like minutes and it was fucking i was just gonna bring that up sun, dude and do you remember walking on those, uh, like, it, they were like stones. The beach in France is made of stones. Yeah. And, and that was, like, one of the craziest things. Because, like, TJ has sensitive little feet for his giant-ass body. He's, like, six foot six. And uh, he's got sensitive little feet. They're not, they're not that little, but they are sensitive. And they're fucking <laughs> beyond pale, dude. <laughs> If you saw a picture of just my feet, you would think they belong to a fucking albino. Yeah, to like a mail order, like Asian you got, bride. You got a oh, sunburn on them. These feet. Because your your legs are so fucking long, that was the only thing that was like reaching was, outside of the look, umbrella. That was probably that 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 probably represented. That was two minutes in the sun, and for my feet, that probably represented the majority of the time they've ever seen the sun in their existence. Y so. Your feet were in the sun for like two hours. You laid there and slept and snored 
for like yeah. two hours. They were fucked up. They were <laughs> fucked. I was trying to exaggerate downwards to make it more crazy, but but sure, two hours. Yes. Yeah. Have you ever had like a like a pedicure? N- fuck no, I ain't never. No. no. Oh, never, I'd want to do see that. that. I don't see this That's never fucking film it. Do it and film yeah. it. Oh, oh, no, no, that is not. Do it for on demand. Yeah. Fuck no. Yeah, you know, dude, that's going to get requested now. <laughs> dude, go oh, to the thing. God. You you know, like some of those Korean pedicure places, they do the thing where they have the fish eat the shit off your feet. They have little fish come and like eat yeah. all the dead skin off your feet. I did not want that at all. Do that. You would love that. You gotta show show him that fucking Riker clip, dude. All right, look at him diverting. DP on demand, TJ. Well, you guys gotta take the fucking chats off first. Oh shit! Hold on. Sorry. This is (laughs) the dumbest shit ever. It has to be seen. Looks real. Oh, what the fuck! (laughs) (laughs) And that's how you know it is absolutely (laughs) Thomas Riker. That ain't no Will Riker right there, man. That's so stupid. It's like Clark Kent taking his glasses off. Clark Kent wears glasses. Superman doesn't wear glasses. It's obviously not the same guy. Wow. I mean that like that defines why I don't like DS9 right there. Star Trek was about you know, look DS that, that is unusually stupid for DS9 is all I'm saying. <laughs> yeah. That that is not the usual level that they were writing for right there. Yeah. Go ahead. I mean I I'll, I'll let you well, I was just gonna. I mean, that, what I liked about TNG was that it was just all it was all just meetings and conference calls. Like it was about it was re, it was a real world solution. To insane sci-fi problems, you don't have you don't have a guy wandering into your meeting with fake sideburns and shit. That's ridiculous. When I when I first met TJ, I was like, "Have you ever watched DS9?" He was like, "Nah, I like TNG." And I was like, "Oh, really?" I was like, "Have you ever watched DS9?" He was like, "Yeah, I watched it." And I'm like, "All right, let's watch it now." And we go to his Netflix. You know, Netflix leaves off on the last point that he watched it. He watched yeah. like. 10 minutes of the first episode. <laughs> and now TNG is his favorite Star Trek show. Yes, did. Or uh, <laughs> I mean, DS9, I yeah. I, mean, I don't know. I probably alternate. I mean, like, it just depends on my fucking mood, you know? I mean, like, TNG yeah. and DS9, they got different vibes and shit. Yeah. And even the different seasons have different vibes from each other, you know? Like, I can't even stand season two of fucking Star Trek The Next Generation with that fucking bitch doctor that I fucking just hate. Pulaski. And fucking Will Wheaton in those early fucking... Oh, that son of a bitch. Getting to hang out on the Enterprise that fucking... I wish... wish, uh, They made him, like, fucking solve the fucking problems of the ship like fucking 80 times. Like, thank goodness for, you know, young fucking Wesley here who's (laughs) smarter than all of us combined. Like, fuck off. Right. Will Wheaton uh, himself is a piece of shit too, so that's that's always helps. Is he? Oh yeah. yeah. Oh, Will Total. Wheaton does Will not like does. TJ. That's Will Wheaton that's does pretty. not Wait like. Minute, why? Will Wheaton does not because Will Wheaton doesn't like anyone who has a real fucking opinion. He's an SJW. Uh, He's a total SJW bitch. Eh. He does the whole feminist thing, and you know, whatever. Dude, I'm so fucking sick of male feminists. Like, I, I would like, I would like the male feminist to be like the pejorative stereotype of of this decade. As much as like the jocks were the date rapists of the '90s, I would love the male feminist to be like the stereotypical date rapists of the teens. I fu- I am so fucking tired of hearing them crow about like in the in the most like obsequious ways where they're trying to buddy up with women. Um, I mean, I don't know how you guys feel about that, but I'm so... I feel fun. exactly the same. It sickens me. I 100% agree with your sentiments on that issue, for sure.
terrifying. Huh. Many many guests jump at that point, but uh, ah, Dick has yeah. nerves of steel. He does. <laughs> My what name is, is Tracy oh, Kiss, okay. and you may have seen before that I did a video called the Semen Facial Tutorial. The idea the behind that was tutorial. to use natural, organic, clean, and healthy ingredients in order to promote Ooh. beauty. Nowadays, she you have no idea. Of semen? <laughs> I don't want that bitch anywhere near my semen. What the hell are you? I, I hope she doesn't take. If she does fucking, take donations, stay away. She's gonna fucking put that shit all over her face, dude. It's gonna be like a little creamy mask. I don't know. How, how can you not you purchase that? in the supermarket, the foods that you eat, there's E numbers, there's chemicals, there's side effects, bad reactions, something that's very serious that can live with you what for the a fuck lifetime. Is your tattoo love? So I was I don't is know, it but like it's an bad. Upside down dick. It's a bad tattoo. It does it's not like look an good. Upside down dick to me. I can't tell what the fuck it even is. It's an Apache <laughs> attack helicopter shooting right at her <laughs> vagina. So while you're fucking her, it's like shooting at your dick. And you could you could wrap a little bandana around the base of your cock and pretend to be Rambo. Damn. <laughs> just, that's, 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 a, that's a common tattoo. Things that you can have from home that I've are seen organic, it. that I'm, don't I'm cost the earth, but actually, actually deliver the results that you require. Part of the Sema facial then led me on to looking into the benefits of digesting semen. Being a personal trainer and nutrition advisor, I'm very much into fitness, having a clean and healthy Would you body. Go to a nutrition There's... advisor who rubbed semen on her face, like as a matter of course, and was like getting articles written about herself for rubbing semen all over her face. Well, if and I just I... met her, I would wonder yeah, how she. Shit. If I just met her, I would wonder how she has such a steady supply of semen to like yeah. rub it on her face regularly. <laughs> I mean, a fitness advisor, no. I, I would go to an accountant, maybe, who thinks that, like, rubbing semen on their face is the uh, key to being an accountant. Not a fitness advisor, though. Makes sense. Surprisingly, a lot of nutritional lot of benefits be from eating much. semen, some of which I'm going to read out to you now. So one teaspoon of semen contains over 200 proteins, several helpful vitamins, Minerals, including vitamin C, calcium, chlorine, vitamin. citric acid, fructose, I love, I love how acid, British people say vitamin. nitrogen, vitamin. phosphorus, potassium, this is a sodium, troll. To see vitamin B12, how far a British zinc. accent will get you. Wow, that's a lot in a shot. Please excuse Someone me. in the chat said, Paul lives this. <laughs> so today I am going to be drinking my friend's semen. Um, this is because <laughs> I'm a partner. You know, in a relationship, I think it's always important to make sure that you're sexually protected, that you've had all of the checks for STIs and STDs. It's also important to lead a healthy, organic lifestyle. Eat clean when you can, healthy avoid processed like foods, oh. and try to stick to things that are raw and contain as much nutrition as possible. Some things that you can do to improve the taste of semen is to consume things such as pineapple juice, wheatgrass, peppermint, and cinnamon, with asparagus making it smell particularly bad. Semen right. will vary no throughout the day. No asparagus, everybody. Tracykiss.com, is she a troll? Whether it's in the morning or last thing at night, how hydrated you are, the kind of diet and lifestyle that you have and lead. Um, and also, if there is a dramatic difference in the taste and texture of your semen, it could be an indication that there's some underlying health problems. So it's very Oh, like helpful. what? Cancer? What, are the, what? Everybody jizz in your mouth all the time to see if you've got if you've got fucking Crohn's disease? What in the hell? Yeah. Yeah, you know, she sucks your cock. You come in her down her throat, and then she gives you a, a she does a comprehensive semen analysis. She writes out the results. It's like 23 and me, but with Jim, yeah. you know? <laughs> she tells you all about yourself. She can even predict your future. Yeah. You know? It's amazing. Predict your income level, whatever you want. So, uh, hey, troll guys, or not. Oh, well, we know this one is not a troll. This is an earlier video I made about how to use makeup on a missionary income. And uh, I've been experimenting. I've been watching a lot of videos about how to apply makeup, even from professional makeup artists. Makeup. And I've concluded I cannot afford what they do. You're seeing me pretty much made up. I just came back from my walk. And usually after a walk, uh, you know, I don't, my like eyes shit. are watering. And it still looks pretty good. I don't know if any... Does she say anything crazy in this one? Someone yeah. sent this to me. This is like all May. I get their hype No, out. it's just her doing makeup. Never mind. So wait, I'm was that semen eater a troll? Or It seemed like not a troll. 
<laughs> we I have mean, no idea. Like not a, he has no idea. Okay. Not a normal, Shit. normal, normal woman making her way in the world today. I think so. Uh, actually, yeah. people are saying That's... confirmed troll, but I don't know. Who knows? Oh, yeah. she's a troll. Yeah. I don't you know. You tricked me. I just shot a load into your mouth. We can sh <laughs> we'll show Dick Wild Bill. How about that? Wow. Hello, everybody. Wild Bill for America here with my first and last cup of. Here's a here, here's your Trump voter. Here's one of your fellow Trump voters right here. Cool. Look at this dude. Cool. I'll defend anything that any Trump voter says. That's all right, go ahead. One about being a Trump. No voter. matter what. <laughs> no matter what. We're all this. We're all. We all defend each other, no matter what. They, yeah, guys. Well, with one hive mind, correct? Yeah, yeah. I knew. <laughs> you will be assimilated. Pumpkin spice coffee, and I have some thoughts about fighting the Antifa thugs who are threatening the American way of life. <laughs> Patriotic right. Americans, law enforcement, and militias are gearing up to deal with these rats, and I'm not too concerned about guns and legal carry and all that. Patriotic Americans already have an A-plus grade in that subject. I'm concerned about patriots protecting their six. The enemy is sneaky. They are despicable. They will hurt you any way they can. I believe that confrontation is inevitable, and I already know which side will win the fist fight and, if necessary, the gun battle. I'm concerned about the court <laughs> battles that will follow. The left oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Wild Bill's you know ready. Can we, like, just, can, we, can we just like not have anyone preparing for Civil War two? You know, like maybe just calm that the, down a little. I don't the know. Second Amendment guys just want a, they want to shoot somebody so badly, like I, they can't they can't hide it. <laughs> this guy right here. I mean, hey, look, I know plenty of gun nuts and shit who don't aren't fucking every time I'm talking to them. They're not like. Man, when that Civil War II rolls around, we gonna fuck some shit up. I mean, you know, but this this guy, like, there are there definitely is a breed of person who just cannot wait. Yeah, for this These big liberals fucking civil unrest to happen, so they can be like Rambo all the fucking sudden. They don't even know that this that if they want a civil war, we got all the guns. What do they think of that? Like, no, dummy, they're uh, they're winning. They're winning the war. It's 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 a war of money, you moron. It's not about guns. Money war, gun war. Well, you know, maybe that's maybe that's why they want it to be a gun war. It's like we got all those. To have mastered the art of guns. Using the courts against us. They will punch you in the face, and when you punch back, they will sue you in court. In fact, that is probably in their handbook. Now there are millions of us ready to stand strong to defend our communities against these evil people. But how many of us are prepared to deal with the lawsuits that they will try to file on any patriot that they can identify who opposes them? If they can't defeat you in the streets, they will try to destroy you financially. They'll defeat you in the sheets. This time... How <laughs> That's, <laughs> That's good. If they can't defeat you in the streets, they'll defeat you in the sheets, gentlemen. They're coming at you as trans women. Yeah, with poison pussies. Poison pussies. I used to go to these open carry events. Uh, I I still would go to them in California, except it's now illegal to open carry in California, uh, just because I like support the Second Amendment. And I thought I thought it was kind of cool to. I honestly I thought it was cool to walk around like Old Town Pasadena with a big old six shooter on my hip because it was legal. It was like it was super fun. It was ninety percent fun, but it was also ten percent constitutionally protected. And it, I. To me, it raised awareness of like that this was part of keeping and bearing arms. Uh, but man, sitting down with those guys and talk like like just trying to have a conversation that wasn't about guns or just, I would feel my asshole get tighter and tighter as the evening went on because I knew <laughs> one of them would start talking about how if anybody came in here to rob this place, then they, that would be the last mistake they ever made. It's like, dude, you're talking about fucking blowing somebody away over robbing a restaurant. Like, this is why they want to take our guns away, you dumb motherfuckers. Uh, it's guys like it guys, guys like this. Like, it's I mean, yeah, like, I, I could you imagine? A, I live in Louisiana now, so I mean, I see the gun culture and shit. Doesn't really bother me, but I've never actually really been too much into guns. I kind of wish we could go back to just stabbing each other with swords and shit. Yeah. Could you imagine, like, I though... Because you know, then you can just... You're close enough to watch the light fade out of their eyes and shit. You know, it's so impersonal just 
stand far away and point and click. I mean, I don't know, man. You're more of a backstabber. You want to reach around and I mean, feel, I don't necessarily. I could, I could stab him in the back. He's I a stab front stabber. Front. I could slit the throat. I could chop the arm off. You know, I don't even yeah. necessarily need to kill them. <laughs> You know, it's okay to just kind of wound in some horrible way or maim, I, you know, it'd be fun. I seriously I think, though, in a lot of these mass shootings, if most of these, like, big crowds of people would have been armed, then there probably would have been more collateral damage. I don't know. I think it depends on the layout of the shooting. Like, if people were armed at that Vegas massacre and they started shooting at the hotel, I think that would have been pretty bad. Um but there's who knows if they would in Vegas, there would just be streets of people who committed suicide because they just lost three grand. Like th yeah, that's, that's what true. the world would be if if guns were a uh, ubiquitous. <laughs> I'd be for every shoot them American, out and jump out of them. American patriot to start shelling out seventeen dollars a month for legal shield. That seventeen bucks oh will get God. you an attorney who will represent you if you. Pause. Fuck that. This is a fucking ad for Legal Shield disguised <laughs> as some heartfelt political fucking message. Yeah. I should have known it was suspicious when you're talking about a gun battle that was going to result in. But how do you deal with all the lawsuits? I'll tell you how Legal Zoom or Legal Shield, or whatever bucks. fucking bullshit I'm peddling for seventeen dollars a month. Wow. You know what sucks is I know this guy. He's like a sharpshooter, right? I don't know him personally, but I know of him. It sucks to see him sell out. Yeah, yeah I mean, if you're going to sell shit, at least be honest and just say, like, okay, now, now here's an ad. This is the ad time now. Yeah. Don't fucking disguise content as a fucking ad to make it seem like you're trying to dispense fucking advice. Yeah, don't be the NFL, man. Antifa, or if <laughs> things really go bad and you find yourself criminally charged. And don't just puff up your chest and say, well, I won't be arrested because I'm not going to break the law. Antifa will lie to law enforcement and their buddies will swear that they saw you do it. Guys, listen up. We are dealing with Satan himself when it comes to the militant left. Protect yourself, including getting legal protection before you walk into a confrontation. Hal Johnson is my legal shield representative and he will I represent any American patriot. So easy to beat, you know, like, That's look, we're dealing with bucks. Satan here. So cough yeah. up the $17 <laughs> a month, everybody. You know, Satan's always willing to make a deal. That's his, that's his Achilles heel. Who plans to take a stand against the enemies of freedom. Go to legalshield.com, Johnson, S-R-J-H. I'll put it at the bottom of the screen. If you have the courage to publicly defend the USA, have the intelligence to protect yourself legally. Hi there. Seventeen dollars a month. Don't attend a public event without it. This is Wild Bill for America. Thank you for watching. Stay away from the pumpkin spice coffee. And America, bless God again. That's his sign off. America, America, bless God. God? Yeah. Oh my God! Talk about tail wagging the dog. Fuck you, Wild Bill. They didn't even put they didn't even put the fucking URL up long enough to like write it down. The biggest fail of this commercial. Yeah, that should have been up the whole fucking time. So yeah. like, he has an affiliate link or something. Is that what's going on? Yeah, he's making money. He, he's trying to make a little money by scaring his audience into paying seventeen dollars a month for this bullshit that he probably gets a thirty dollar kickback for or some shit. I do like that those Antifa guys and like the hardcore right guys can can meet up and uh, fist fight each other. Like yeah, I think it helps them both get out some aggression, you know. And it's good for all of us. Like I, I think we could all come together. Like fuck boxing, you know. It's all bullshit in stage. And the McGregor fight and the Mayweather fight was bullshit because it happened oh. exactly like we all knew. Oh, but just know? a mob of political fucks getting together and. You know, guys are punching women. Like guys are guys are bringing bike locks in. Like, yeah, I want to put give these guys some money. Let's ramp it up. Stop. Don't downplay it. Get Don King in there. Get Dana. Who Dana? Who's the guy? Does uh, Dana, Dana White? No, not Dana. Dana White. Yeah, get him in there. Let's let's put some money on this shit. Well, you I mean, know, like, stream fight. You've, you've had the idea. You know why? Why let them steal it from you? Please. Why don't you go fucking start a little uh, Antifa versus? Second Amendment Why gun nut fight? fighting league, you know? Mike makes right. Let That's him, what I'll call it. That's my fighting let him, league. Yeah, let them do battle.
Dick, yeah, when build, uh, build when a fucking arena and shit. Dick, when you were a young man in high school, did you ever write cringy poetry by any chance? Oh, dude. Uh, uh, I'm going to go smoke mean, a cigarette. I'll be back. No, 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 no. No, no. Don't leave. Don't. What? Hold on. Boy. Like when I was trying to get fucking laid by the, in the first yeah, time in my yeah. life. But I had a yeah. girlfriend in high school. The he, yeah. I, had, I had this girlfriend in high school with the biggest fucking cans I've ever felt in my life, probably. Yeah, I would have. I would. I would have written the uh, the Constitution <laughs> to stick it in her. Yes. He's leaving. Poetry's nothing. He's leaving because I like to play his uh, cringy poetry. Oh, did he write this? Oh, great. Hold on. Yeah. yeah, here it comes. This is our segment. It's called "Cutting the Fat." Is that TJ. There's TJ with the page boy. Haircut, cutting the fat. All right, here it is. Oh my God. The dawn came at midnight. Oh my God. <laughs> Classic Maddox fan right here. <laughs> the sun was blue and swaying all things to its gentle perplexity. <laughs> a small child is burning alive, somewhere eternal, wrapped in thorns, born viciously at every angle. For the sins of old men who castigate the shadows of their younger selves, cast yeah. by latent desires. For the flesh of those who no longer have flesh, and are no longer desired for what they are, but what they were. A dead okay. dream clinging to a dead tree on a dead hill <laughs> the dawn came at midnight there it is the dawn came at midnight yeah oh so <laughs> how did he, you get this oh there, there's so many of them it's hilarious no why yes. why are there so many of these because he made a bunch of them and he put them on <laughs> youtube yeah Oh, that's why no. he leaves. That's why he leaves. <laughs> no, dude, this is a PSA. You got to put over here. Don't, <laughs> don't, don't ever put anything on YouTube, or else be like this guy. No, dawn came at midnight. Two dead brothers got up to fight each other. Yeah, well, let's play one Did more it work? time. The dawn. Came at midnight. Oh. The sun was blue and swaying all things to its. It looks like he was eating complexity. like ink gum. <laughs> A small child is burning alive somewhere <laughs> eternal, wrapped in thorns. Oh, you got a every small angle. child is burning. For the sins of old men who castigate the shadows of their younger selves, cast by latent desires. For the flesh of those who no longer have flesh, and are no longer oh. desired for what they are, but what they were. Oh no. A dead dream clinging to a dead tree on a dead hill. The dawn came at midnight. Wow. What's he looking at? Is he reading off camera? Yeah, I think he has something somewhere. There there was guess, a, there's there's a few of them where he's reading something on the back of his toilet. So I mean that makes it better, but did this work? Like who was the girl this was pitched to? That this, I have no this idea. specimen of semen was was pitched to. This is <laughs> the, honey, this is the best I got. What do you think? You wanna you wanna get a little bit of this inside of you? Dead child burning? Uh, men, trees, dreams, men, about days of yore, you know, black and white. Uh, what do you think of this mustache? Let's start there. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's it's peppered. It's it's kind of just peppered onto his upper lip at this point. It's a suggestion of a mustache <laughs> is what we're looking at. When oh, did that guy shit. get so cool? Why did that guy get cool and when did he get cool? Who, TJ? Yeah. I don't know. Uh, I don't know. I'm still trying to figure that out. When did he get cool? I don't know, because it's, it's interesting. Like, everyone has their fucking... Everyone has their, like, I'm an awkward fuck stage. And it's, it's cool to get out of it as fast as possible. 
I think he's still in it, but he's just so good at it. Oh, oh TJ, uh, TJ, I'm so glad you came this back. It's still happening, I see. Oh, we're, we're both done crying at the power. Oh, no, no, it, it just started. The dawn came Chill. at midnight. Oh, powerful. The, the sun was blue. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Please don't interrupt. I'd like to hear this, and I'd like to hear your commentary on it. What? Where, what? Where are you going? Where? You're a piece hold of on. shit, man. That's all I have to say. <laughs> Dude, did it work? Did it work? That's what I want to know. Did was the work? chick into it? No. Ah. <laughs> See, there wasn't good. All... See, listen, there wasn't even a chick at this time. There was just the hopes that maybe this would would land one in the future. So this was and this was this your life never did. Bug. This never did. Yeah. Strangely enough, this wasn't what ended up getting me pussy. I don't know why. Things what ended up getting jump. you pussy? Hold on, wait, wait. Go ahead. Sorry. What? Wait, TJ, put the put the headphones back on. Come on. What ended up getting you <laughs> pussy? Being a ranty, spurgy piece of shit on the internet. Yeah, power. Prejudice plus power. So, TJ, do you want to listen to a little bit Equals of this pussy. and like tell you know me? I never, you know, I never want to listen to any of this. You know that for a fact. So don't ask me a fucking question as if it's an honest question. If I want to listen to some of this, <laughs> but I want to understand your genius. All right, I want to. I will. How many up. takes of this was there? Was this the first take? There was probably only one. I mean, this is all this is all old two thousand eight webcam shit. So yeah. yeah Total perplexity. perplexity. A small child is burning alive somewhere eternal, wrapped in thorns. Yeah, man. Torn viciously at every Feel angle. Shit. Feel the edge. For the sins Feel of the old edge. men who castigate the shadows of their younger selves cast by yes, latent desires. Fucking they have the latent flesh desires. flesh of those who no longer have flesh and are no longer desired for what they are, but yeah, what they were. The most, listen, this might seem cringy and terrible now, but at the time. In the context of the time, this was what time? Two thousand eight. This was. The, is this a poem about the financial crisis? Yes. Yes. You know, okay. I'm glad that someone finally picked up on that. I knew you know, it. I knew it. Old men castigating the shadows of their younger selves. Yeah, man. Obviously, about Wall Street, people who have ah. sold out for money. You know, they used to care. It was like my rosebud. You know, like the fucking hey. The guy yeah. longs for the innocence of his past because he's become such a corrupt piece somebody, of shit. That's saying thank you, sir. Somebody in the chat room said, this is sad. Not in a funny way. It's cringy sad. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. All right. <laughs> Next one. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> Someone, yeah. Someone, someone yeah. put a, f a firework in her clothes. Oh, Here it is one more time. God damn, dude. Uh, with people with their free time, dude. Before we get into the vortex, I'd like to let you know that if you go to churchmilitant.com, you can get so much more than just the Vortex. If you're Catholic, you need to know your faith, and we at churchmilton.com want to help you learn all about our beautiful Catholic Church. Now, if you're not Catholic, you should open up your mind to what our Lord has to offer through His Church. <laughs> I like that. If you're not Catholic, well, you should probably be Catholic, otherwise you're a dumbass, maybe, you know. The Lord has much to offer through his church, dude. His church. All these other churches are bullshit. We're the church. Come on. You know. I mean, what's the what's the vortex? <laughs> yeah, that's like weird. A, a vortex of Christ? <laughs> I went I went to Catholic school for 12 years and I never heard of the fucking vortex before. So no well, problem. I just think the wrong kind of Catholic, dude. The vortex is when you try to cram the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit together. They're like magnets. Like they push. <laughs> you, if you try to squeeze them together, it creates a vortex. If to you put a, them in a blender, Thor's universe. You stuff them all in a blender and try to blend them together, and you get the vortex yeah. of all of them. Will it blend? The Holy Spirit. We'll find out in this YouTube video. 
<laughs> Fuck all three of them. I want them as one. Blend them together. So I'd like to invite you to visit churchmilton.com to learn more about what it means to be Catholic. After this vortex, I hope to see you there. I guess this is the vortex. Oh. <laughs> it's the name of his show. Right now. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Vortex, where guy, lies I'm and like, falsehoods are trapped in... Vortex, dude. Exposed, I'm Michael Voris. The much-respected and much-followed conservative political commentator Ben Shapiro, speaking before a crowd of college students, said, quote, The first fundamental basis of Western civilization is the idea that we, each of us and every one of us, is made in the image of God, closed quote. What a perfectly correct and good observation. That's what clear thinking will always render. Oh, man. God God really loves uh, watching cat videos on YouTube and, like, jerking off of a gross stuff that he doesn't want to talk about then. Made in God's image. I Most met that guy, Ben Shapiro. I met him at a uh, a coffee bean in North Hollywood. It was right after it was right after his split with Milo, who you guys know something about. Yeah. Uh, when Ben when Ben Shapiro was getting fucking nailed uh, before Milo got destroyed by you guys, uh, he we was did with not his... destroy him. Fuck that. We did not do it. He did it. No, I'm busting balls. Yeah, All right, he did. All right. uh, I met Ben Shapiro, and like he. I walked up to him and was like, hey, man, I'm a, I'm a fan. Like, I, I just felt bad for him. Like, he was with his wife and his, uh, or, I'm sorry, he was with his daughter and his, uh, it looked like his dad. They were wearing their yarmulkes. They were from something. I was like, oh, man, uh, I, I really, like, it, it pissed me off that you went anti-Milo and anti-Trump. But uh, I just, I shook his hand anyway. Gave him a little bit of, I gave him a, a bit of a mitzvah, as his people would say. A mitzvah. He seems like he's doing pretty well, so whatever. Yeah. The truth. But for all its clarity and truth, Shapiro needs to finish the thought. The basis of Western civilization is absolutely that we are made in the image of God. But, and big but here, the reason big. for the collapse of Western civilization is contraception, something Shapiro does <laughs> not agree to. To say on the one hand that man is made in the image oh of God. Oh my God, push this motherfucker into the vortex. You bring nothing. You bring <laughs> nothing to Western civilization, you weird toupee-looking fuck. God, which is true, but then to invest man with the authority to reject the very nature of that image we are made in relation to, namely the power to create, is to present a conundrum. Oh, okay. This is why authentic Catholic thinking needs to be introduced into these political, societal, cultural discussions. They will always miss the mark by however little <clears throat> because they suffer from being taken to their logical conclusion. The why initial logic... I don't know, dude. I've just been wondering about that fucking pencil for a while now. I'm like, yeah. what's with the pencil? He's, He's like, Bob, even uses yeah, a goddamn yeah. pencil anymore. Yeah. I'm Bob Joe. ...is there, sometimes expressed boldly, as Ben did. Call it a logical yeah, intuition. Yeah. That intuition can be gleaned from observing the world and how it works. It can be seen so wait, by hold observing... On. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. So you're saying that the idea that we were created in the image of God is based on logical intuition and just looking around the world? Yeah, I man, it's logical I... intuition. Yeah. It's like an educated guess. <laughs> you know... I'm looking around at my fellow man, and I just feel like we're created in the image of God, you know? Look look at that fucking fat bitch running around in the, the little scooter in the Walmart using a fucking claw to grab shit off the top shelf. Image of God right there. Don't you see it? <laughs> Natural law. As St. Paul observed, even the pagans got it right on the fundamental level. But what the pagans, including today's pagans, did not and do not have is revelation, divine revelation. Contraception is evil, inherently evil, intrinsically evil, and as such, like all inherent evils, intrinsic evils, it has devastating consequences in this life and the next. But if we step back and observe the damage contraception has caused just on the natural level, all clear-thinking uh, lovers of truth could agree can you that Please the just make some attempt to demonstrate this fucking evil that's happening because of contraception because as far as i can tell it just means less people on the planet which seems i don't know good yeah it's less god on the planet uh -huh. as we need more of less people in god's image on the planet is less as fucking possible 
social, economic, and moral consequences of the widespread acceptance and use of contraception has rocked Western civilization, and not just <clears throat> rocked it, but brought about its end. Practically every problem facing the West can be traced right back to birth control. Same okay. Every problem. Yeah, the NSA has birth control. <laughs> All, all over it. Too much contraception it, uh, decreases cryptography. Sex marriage, abortion, tax rates, demographic shifts, the collapse of the family, Wait a minute. illegal use immigration. Contraception have no need to use ab abortions, though. Good point. And the national debt, unsecured debt the payments, debt. education, <laughs> government policy and legislation. Where's this shit coming from? Is he just naming whatever the fuck he wants without evidence? How These are just, yeah. All of those can be traced back to contraception. All of them. Really? How? That's one. Foreign I don't affairs. Know. Foreign affairs. Guys, foreign affairs? Challenges to the economy. Challenges to the economy and so forth. Consider that the reason we are even talking about the collapse of Western civilization is owed almost solely to the wrong-headed, yet almost unanimously accepted notion that, quote, at the heart of liberty is the right to define one's own concept of existence, closed quote, which is a direct consequence of a contraceptive mentality, as proved by the fact Con that what? that quote is from Justice Anthony Kennedy in the infamous 1992 proven. Casey v. Proven. Proven. It's proved to me. That's all I need. Planned Parenthood case that upheld a constitutional right to murder your child in the womb. Abortion. Whoa! <laughs> Womb we'll murder. Contracep contraception establishes in the... Did he just that murder up? messed him up, dude. Saying murdered in the womb messed up his brain. He couldn't yep. continue after that. Because he knew he was fucking lying. Why'd eh, they cut that out? Fucking fraud. This seems uh, remotely well produced. Why'd they cut that, that out? I, I don't know. Because he's... The vortex only needs contraception. That's take, why. Dude. Mind that take. the power given to us by God to create, part of the notion of being made in His image, is a power we get to have complete autonomy over. Mind you, this is a power even the angels do not possess. Yet man has been given it and then freely abuses it. There is much that can be said here theologically on the supernatural level, but let's just consider the devastating consequences in the natural order and then admit that this is the single most contributor to the collapse of Western civilization. It was Catholic teaching that spread the idea, enshrined in law and raised up Western civilization that man is made in the image and likeness of God. The church built an entire civilization around that concept. It was the Catholic Church that created Western civilization. <laughs> what the fuck? It's not yeah. true. Not true. Not true. Not I also true. I mean, the, the central not tenet true. of the Catholic Church is not even the man was made in God's image. That's not even the most important fucking thing to Catholicism. No, the most important thing to Catholicism is fuck you, pay me. They're like Polly and Goodfellas. It's like, well, fuck you, pay me. What do you got going on? Let's see. Let's see a little bit of the tithing first, and then maybe God's going to take a look at it. And it is the Catholic Church now saying that the acceptance of the sin of contraception is responsible for its collapse. Finish the thought, Ben. Finish I mean, the thought. For Western the love of God. Western society has not fucking collapsed. Why do you keep talking about the collapse of Western society in the past tense like that's some shit we've all been through already? Wild Bill's still waiting for it, dude. Wild Bill's still waiting. TJ, you got more, uh, you got like Bible guys? Over where you are, because I'm in LA, where uh, we don't we don't get to touch any people like this. Like we hear t we hear we hear tall tales of the ultra religious, but oh yeah, we never yeah, meet them on the street. This motherfucker, uh, this motherfucker <clears throat> right here, you'd see you'd see him, you'll see him all over the place. Yeah, yeah, he's there, he's there, he's there with us. It's weird because I'm I always dismiss guys like this because I think like they're uh, like a straw man. You had to dig on YouTube to find it, but after doing the my show, I've learned that this is like. This guy is a, is a is a is a bad guy out there, and it's a very real thing. Like the Ken Ham guys are, they actually have big okay. followings, like in they're other parts fucking, of the country. Fucking out there, and you know, uh, different parts of the country. Like I don't know, I was in the supermarket today, and there was all there was like a big, you know, b b by the checkout stand, there was all these religious books and 
you know, God loves you and all this shit. And you see the God, uh, the God fearing folk all around here and shit. Do you have the yeah. billboards there? Really, not so much the billboards. Uh, in, at least uh, not. in like Tennessee and Kentucky and Georgia, like those areas, you see a lot of those billboards. There was a uh, picture of Jesus uh, off of one of the exits here that uh, it showed Jesus on the crucifix looking all fucked up. And it said, uh, consider your way. You know, so that was like, I guess. We have the opposite billboards. It's it's billboards that say like if you're not gay, you're gay. And then it's Tommy Lasorda and Yasiel Puig making out. I'm like, oh, yeah. that's interesting. You know, there you different, go. Different sort of religion. Different yeah. ends of the weird shit spectrum, I guess. Yeah. Okay. Here's how you should be thinking. Thanks, billboard. You've convinced me. <laughs> Finish the thought. God love you. Uh, yeah, goodbye. This next one is uh, dash cam shows suspect ejected from police car during crash. Oh, man, that's all I'm doing. This is interesting. Fill my tray back up with the food I paid for, please. Nah, we're, we're good. Take <clears throat> You're take me to jail. You I didn't make my promise. You give me a ride. I did. I did say I would give you a ride. Yeah, we'll get to the good part. So he's being... He's kind of like talking shit or like being weird in the back. He's talking about betrayal? I don't know. <laughs> this is crazy though. Yep. He gets, he gets ejected through the back window of this car. Awesome. It's crazy. <laughs> it's gonna happen any second now. There needs to be a countdown. Like, I know. Go. Get ready. Butter up your beans. Get ready for this fucking Six. guy getting killed. Six. <laughs> Five. How do you get the handcuffs off? One, go! 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 Bitch. Oh shit. Yeah, here oh, we go. Shit. <laughs> He's getting a little goosey. The cops, the cops are getting a little goosey. That's crazy. It just like sucked him out the window. Oh man. <laughs> I want to live in a world where every time something bad happens to somebody that's not the cop, we celebrate. Like I want to be on the cop's side. You know what I mean? Like this guy, this guy seems like an annoying piece of shit kicking the back of chairs. I'm anti that. I celebrate like I want him to lose. I don't want to. I don't want to always have this conflict with the police. That's the world I want to live in. I mean, I, I feel like we watch a lot of videos on this show that uh, that go both ways. Like, there's definitely ones where I'm like, man, I side with this guy over the cops. But there's definitely ones where you're like, man, I can't. I mean, I've wa I, I'm against police brutality and shit, but I've watched videos on this show where it's like, man, at this point, I'd be brutalizing this fucking guy. Come on, someone, I want to live in a world said, where I'm always. Go ahead. Oh, someone in the chat said he escaped. Yeah, he escaped, dude. That was, what a daring escape, too. A daring escape. 
That was all part of his plan. He got up and he buttoned his shirt up and he had like a British accent. He just strolled away like Kaiser Soze. This is all my fucking plan all along, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> it sucks that now when you say Kaiser Soze, I'm like, yeah, Kaiser Soze. Oh, wait, that guy fucking really. <laughs> yeah. Never mind. I, then he stuck his thumb up a 14 year old's ass. Uh, you know, I mean, yeah. he's still a good actor, I guess. <laughs> Fuck. And he said, no, every, nobody worry about it. I'm gay. I'm gay. I'm gay. I'm drunk. I'm gay. Yeah, yeah. I'm gay and I'm drunk and I'm drunk and I'm gay. Come on. What do you want from me? Yeah, and I'm next, drunk. Fellas, you get it. Ladies, oh, wait, wait, hold on. Let, before, before that, let's watch this again in slow-mo, dude. Oh, okay. Hold on. Slow-mo. Oh, that shit. <laughs> Man, I love that shit. That's fucking beautiful. Yeah. What a he just glorious got sucked couple. out. Suck like a tornado. He should have had his seatbelt on. Well, he shouldn't have been doing so much contraception. Yeah, dude. You know, if his parent, I mean, like, I just fucking show that dude from the last video, this video, and be like, look, what if his, what if his parents had used contraception? Come on, you know exactly. All right, uh, this is the cringiest trespassing white entitled woman won't leave. Right. Tell me where the freaks what is this? What? Very black thing on her bed. I guess she's sorry a couple of cops got whacked in Des Moines, and she doesn't give a shit. Whether it's putting you out the door with pleasure, I, will take I am not I going outside. I will, I will take an ID as well. You'll do that. In this room, right? Oh, yes, get it from on get it camera, out your right? That's perfectly fine. This is me, yo. So you want to put her in the I'll put her in the right. Put me in the In the trespass law. No, okay. You want to trespass from here for a calendar year. You're not able to come back to this location. If you do come back to this location, you'll be arrested for criminal trespass. How can I fight that unjust discrimination? It's not unjust discrimination. Says you. Who the, I mean, WTF do you know, yo? You wasn't here. <laughs> you wasn't here. I think he's got a pretty good then idea. Why don't you go die he laughed. laughing? Come on, do your thing. I'm in a hurry. Yeah, you monkey-eared bitch. I got you go places die that aren't run by a-holes to visit. You want me to sign something? Do no, it. I don't need a signature. I need a piece of paper from you about the dirt you just did. You want to present it? What? Tell that police girl she has a cute ass and she can spend the night in my solitary bedroom. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, yeah. that took an unexpected turn, I mean, didn't it? You know, well, rock on. Maybe, you know, maybe her and that female police officer hooked up later and she ate her fucking butthole. I don't know. Did they scissor? Maybe it worked. Maybe it worked. Did they scissor? Yeah, I they scissor. Just put that up. Where am I? Bruhemia. I'm sorry, could you repeat that? Do you understand your trespass warning? Do I sound like I'm hard of hearing? Due to your <laughs> childish behavior. Do you think I'm childish? You know Why don't you go be a daycare worker? <laughs> Come on, let's what? roll, let's roll. I'm done with this. Hey, you're young. Why don't you get out of this ignoble profession? Be a firefighter. They actually help people. Not like control freak B Oh, <laughs> Truth bombs on these stupid cops. <laughs> yeah, dude. Control laying down the real, the true law, the true law. I can't fucking wait to be eighty and just walk into a restaurant and take my pants. And like, all right, everybody, get your fucking cameras out. I'm gonna be, I'm about to make fools of these twenty year old policemen that come in here and have to tolerate my shit. Oh, look. A, a polite white. They're all over the place. Love them. Let's roll. I'm sick of this joint. Give me something. A badge number. 1083 in my Write it down, yo. Know? I'll give you my card. Thank you. Car. Oh, she's Thanks. being meat to pigs. Oh, God. Please, please leave. I'm leaving out the disabled door, yo. You okay. think I need you to hand me my bag? Oh, but I would gladly do that. Yeah, well, guess what, dick? No thanks. 
Cut, dick. <laughs> All right. What do I owe you for my soda? Just go. Too bad. I would throw down a one, but I ain't throwing no five down. I mean, are, you, are you, like, tweaking all for me? You're supposed, the action's supposed to be hip, not shoulder. I love I'm how leaving. these people just You're always the manage to extend this shit as long as possible. You know, I mean, dude, it's a very real thing that like there at some point in my life when I realized I was like 10 years older than the cop, I did not nothing that they could say could make me respect their authority. Like they walked up and I was like, dude, what the fuck do you like? How much is this going to cost me? 200 bucks, 150 bucks, 400. I know you already got it. I'm going to get as much. I'm going to get as much enjoyment out of this ticket as possible. And I can only imagine that escalating. Over the decade, As you know you what I mean? Older, yeah. Yeah. Give me my car, your car. <laughs> I call Just you? Cut. Oh, please, my oh. aunt. Don't oh. pretend like you serve and protect, you bitch. Go, man. Go out the disabled door. <laughs> out of my way, Popo. This way. You're going out. Man. No, I have a disability. That's a handicap door. And that's how I'm exiting. Go. Go. Boy, she tough. Go now. Command presence in the house. Look at all these <laughs> uptight people. Go. Hey, don't touch me. Don't touch me. Go. Get your fucking hands off me. Get yeah. your hands off me. Hammer them. Would you tell her to stop touching me. Crowd there is on your side. Right me. Go. I cannot be cool. Go. Get hey, off me. Up for the Get off me. I can walk. Out. Get this jacked up trigger happy pig off me. <laughs> Sorry. They stopped grabbing on me. It was the cunt who got violent first. It was the cunt. Get this jacked up, trigger happy pig off of me. I say, fuck the police now and forevermore. Three Boom. tax dollars, protecting killers, and fucking with people. Fuck the police. Wow. Okay. Man. Well, you know, was, she had a little adventure, dude. She had a little fucking beautiful adventure. What do you do if your grandma does that? You know? I mean, I'm you wake glad, up and there's a I'm YouTube my video. my are all dead, so I don't have to deal with it. Oh. Send her I, a nice, you know nice gift basket. That was better than, like, am I being detained or am I free to go? I, I liked her rhetoric against the cops way better. Well, you know, she was improving some shit. You know, it, some of it was pretty bad, but I mean, some of it was kind of memorable. So you she kind of had like some hood to what she was saying too. You know? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, at least that, she was a pretty decent shit talker. You know, you give her that. Feminist slam poetry, hissing, screeching, squawking. Fuck you to all the men. I am blaming you. <laughs> <laughs> Same joke every time. It's the third time you fucking the done dawn that. came at midnight. Play the real fucking feminist slam poetry, bastard. Hey, hey, hey. The dawn came at midnight. That's fucking. Uh, it never gets old. This is not a fucking. test. This is your emergency broadcast system announcing the commencement of the first annual fuckboy purge, sponsored by the U.S. government. Commencing at the siren, any and all clapbacks upon fuckboys, including murder, will be legal for 12 continuous hours. Police, so will fire, and emergency... <laughs> See, medical services will be unavailable until 7 a.m. tomorrow morning when the purge concludes. Blessed be our newfounded mothers and America, a nation reborn. May God be with you all. Yo, let me just do one more check real quick. Okay, so I got my pepper spray, check. Knife, check. AK-47, check. And then, of course, I gotta have my bait. So then I got my wave brush, my protein shake, and a stack of John Mayer albums. Okay, check, check, check. <laughs> let me catch a fuck boy. Oh, look at this one, y'all. My ex, Robert, or should I say, rob you of seven loyal months of your life and leave you for a chick with halitosis and an Instagram vocabulary. <laughs> I'ma just put that nigga in the van with the rest of them, and I know it's getting kind of full, but if Chris Brown. N word. 
just bends his legs and Justin Timberlake stops trying to quit walk in the back seat, they're gonna they be room back there, you know? And I know he don't listen to black people, but he better tonight because I'm about to raise the terror alert to red up in this bitch. I'm the judge, the jury, the jail. The government bestows upon me the license to kill and I ain't about to let my country down. I seek the blood of the one who said, no one will believe you when I'm done with you. When I... Yeah, man, powerful stuff. Gets you right there. Right there. Beautiful. Empowered. Gets me right there in my love handles, ma'am. Yeah. Wash myself clean of you. The one who made me buy into his love and then hit all the receipts when all other eyes were around tonight. There is no consequence. Uh, someone asked, why does feminist slam poetry never sound like poetry? <laughs> Rhyming is part of patriarchy. I like your poetry better, TJ. Me too. In, in fact, I think we should listen to some of that instead right now. <laughs> I'm going to just fucking... I'm just going to walk out. I'll just be gone. Why? <laughs> it's Everyone agrees that I'll that would be the best... Hold on, though, TJ. Everyone agrees that that would be the best segment ever if you would just stay. So for the show, I think... You should stay. I don't do. I don't do shit for this audience, man. They're assholes. I don't like them. Oh yeah, uh, take that. All take right. that, you sons of. I would love to see the guy that this poem was written about, uh, like the guy who's got like the magical well, cock is, that made this. This bitch is written this about madness. all all men, dude. Oh, oh no, uh, no, it's not. <laughs> it's written about one guy. Like I want to oh, see. Uh, I want to see his bald, fat ass just up there. Like, hey, everybody, I'm just like a regular dude, and this bitch is this mad because I fucked her a couple times and then stopped talking to her again because of uh, well, everything that you're seeing here. So <laughs> please go ahead, go ahead. Yeah, I don't think it's any mystery why that dude bailed. Yeah. Have you ever pissed a chick off so much that she uh, went on a, a, a you know feminist poetry slam about you? The opposite uh, of, of your poetry. Thankfully, no. Yeah. And I've never I've never pissed off a girl enough for her to do a slam poem. It's a goal. That should be a goal. Like you 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 wrong a chick so badly that she writes a song or does a sculpture where she shits in her hand and throws it at a canvas like. Uh, to 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 somehow well, to my girlfriend is watching this in the kitchen, so don't give her too many ideas about <laughs> about this. You know, I don't I don't need her jotting this down on a steno pad. Like, oh, I see. Yes, yeah. shit sculpture on the stage. Yes, yes, makes sense. It'd be a hell of an achievement. That's all I'm saying. I mean, I, yeah, you know that that would, you know that's almost uh, that's almost worthy of putting on your grave or something. You know, had a feminist slam poem written about what a fucking dirtbag he is. And then just print it out. Put the tombstones in the future. They'll have video built into them. So you can just put it on repeat forever. What is this countdown, by the way? Sorry, I couldn't hear you. This count... Yeah, sorry, I was. I forgot to depress the talk button. Oh. Um, the, uh, this countdown here is... Um, I think that means our Streamlabs are open. Oh. But no one's no one's sending shit. They don't care. Oh, uh, well. They're just gonna happen. They're bad people. They heard me talking shit about them, and they're just like, I ain't giving no money to that fucking prick. Fuck that guy. He never even had one feminist uh, uh, slam poetry written about him. He's a man of no consequence. There are countless videos on YouTube of people who have claimed to be shown hell by Jesus. All are very similar. How do you explain it? Are they all lying? How do they all have such similar experiences? Uh, yeah, they're all lying. And what do you mean? Sim I mean, like, it, it's just hell. I mean, it's the same standard fucking story, and it has been for 2,000 fucking years. The brain's not that complicated. We all dream of our teeth falling out. We're all afraid of the dark and spiders because they're fucking weird. It's not, it's not that complicated. So, so, Dick, are you from Chicago? No, I'm from, I'm from L.A. I really? grew up in L.A. since I was 10. Yeah. Interesting. Why? Are you saying I look fat? Like, I look so no, no, fat. No, 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 no. Because you said, Chicago, you, son you said, of a like, bitch, you fucking you, you said, like, complicated, and that sounds like a Chicago accent to me. Oh, yeah. I think I just have a weird way of talking. Yeah. Yes. Maybe. Interesting. I don't know if it's just the the reddish hat. I guess it's probably orange. It looks oh, it's orange, dude. 
It's a jerk o' lantern. Yeah, dude. I mean, but you look like Mario a little bit. I'm Thank that. you. Thank you. Someone said his fat a Chicago train. <laughs> Give me some mushrooms. I spent a lot of time working in the pipes, if you know what I'm talking about. I, like I, Mario. I actually, I actually don't. But I spent a lot of time taking mushrooms like Mario, so. Mm. You a mushroom guy, Teach? Yeah. 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 I like hallucinogens in general. My buddy likes mushrooms. Uh, what do you think about acid? I love acid. It's probably my favorite. What do you think about like micro dosing? Like all the like I've. Uh, I'm uh, if I if I'm doing acid, my goal is to see yeah, the I'm weirdest sure. shit possible. So, so I, I like little it. doses. Ben's a micro doser. doser. When uh when we went to Amsterdam, uh, we took like little amounts of. Hold the on, truffles. we got a moral person here. It's a little right. fucked up that you laughed at the girl had a firework thrown in her hoodie. Yeah, uh, we're bad people. We're sorry. Um, if. You know, I'll write her on a, a letter of apology. I'm going to go on an apology tour later this month. I mean, that person who called you out gave you five bucks. They didn't give the girl in the hoodie five bucks, so fuck them as well. Yeah, you hypocrite. You hypocrite. <laughs> fucking gave me five dollars just to morally chastise us for fucking laughing at something that was funny. Fuck You're you. perpetuating the cycle. Ben, you said you like, uh, you like microdosing? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, Ben loves doing it for the energy. Yeah. yeah. Uh, we even did that uh, a few, or our, our election special. We did like an eight hour election special where we covered the election coverage from beginning to end. And I was on shrooms the entire time. I just took like little bits here and there. And it, it, it kept me more energetic for sure. It was a big episode for us too. We had like, like 15,000 live viewers during that. Who is a better audio engineer, Bong Rip Ben or Sativa Se Szechuan? I don't know. Sean, that's my audio engineer, Sean. Uh, Sativa Sean. Uh, you know, Ben, you're you're loud and clear. I, I don't know. Um, so is, are you? So what you're saying is you're going to fire his ass, and I'm getting hired by you next. Awesome. No, because you talk TJ. a lot, and I. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> Sean and hey, Sean talk never too damn talks. much, Ben. <laughs> That's the first time anyone's ever said that, too. Yeah. Well, you've been a little more talkative this episode than you usually are. You need to, you need to learn to fucking rein oh, it back. Oh, damn it. Okay. You know, I don't know what the fuck you're thinking, acting like you're part of the show or something. It's pretty gross. I'm not into it. This fucking countdown is just kind of pissing me off at this point. Why is that? Because no I don't know. It disturbs me. With all these Hollywood sexual assault accusations going on recently, I'm wondering, has any evidence been coming out along with the accusations or are people believing all the accusations is truth? It's pretty hard for there to be evidence of a lot of this stuff. I mean, you know, sexual assault is kind of notorious for being one person's word against another's. And usually you need the strength of multiple accusers for uh, for it to be taken too seriously. Like, that's what killed Bill Cosby because, you know... It wasn't like it was just, you know, one or two women making fucking uh, claims. It was like, you know, Funny. some, yeah, like an insane yeah. amount, like dozens of these fucking bitches coming forward. Yeah, Bill Cosby drugged and raped me, too. It's like, oh, OK, well, we're hearing the same story an awful lot. I definitely think that there is a mentality of uh, bandwagoners on this shit, though. You know, I especially kind of get little skeptical when someone with a flagging career all of a sudden comes forward and points to the rapist of the month and fucking says, yeah, me too. Yep. 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 He was all up in my snatch. Damn just, just the same. Right. Yeah. Yeah. trying to get Dick to hire you. It's also like, uh, this idea that we all didn't know that's what Hollywood was like, yeah, it's just a bunch of gross old guys waiting for you to watch them jack off in the shower so they can put you in their stupid fucking movie. And none of, like, and we don't, and none of, we don't fucking care how you got in the movie. Because Scam if you didn't do it, sure. the girl behind you would. Like, it's... Dick, it's a, where have you been the last nine years? Do you have a new YouTube? Love you and Dr. Phil. Patreon.com slash the dick show, dude. That's where I've been the last nine years. I've been in a hole... I've been in uh I've been like a mummy. I've been underground getting uh just uh, waiting waiting until I was needed again. That's where I've been. It was the same fake shock when the Catholic Damn Church was implicated too. Like I'd heard exactly. jokes the Catholic Church yeah. doing that shit forever before it became a scandal. 
The video before Feminist Slam Poetry literally made my draw job. It was so hilarious and ridiculous, especially when the crazy woman went in a completely different direction than expected. Also, since I also posted videos on YouTube, I wanted to say, fuck YouTube. You well, said, I can agree. <laughs> fuck YouTube. You said draw job. Draw job. What'd I say? <laughs> That's his truth, man. <laughs> You're so you meant to say jaw drop, but you said draw job. Draw job. I'm <laughs> dropping his draws. Drop so, draws. It's so surprising. I'm going to drop my draws. Yeah. <laughs> drop my draws. Stop dropping. Whip Let's my dick and balls out. Wave that dick cheese smell in your direction. You know, it's a beautiful thing. So surprising. Everybody just throws their pants right to the floor. That's draw dropping. In LA. Yeah. That's LA. Yeah, there's LA for you. Draw job. <laughs> I guess I must have said that. Yeah. I did not notice myself say that, but whatever. See that your Patreon link is being shared by Ryby. Yeah. Be sure to give Dick more money. More money for Dick. <laughs> I'm in his 19000 something dollar Patreon. I mean that's a deal. I'm giving it away at 19 grand. People are paying me 19,000 bucks <laughs> talking to a microphone pretty much all day every day, one day a week. That's 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 I'm giving it away. Yeah, dude. I mean, you're selling yourself way short. Yeah. I wouldn't even Man, do that shit for less than 100 grand a fucking minute. I might close show up. episode 75 Dick on Spurgy YouTube Atheists. <sighs> there you go. Inspiration. You guys atheists? Yeah. Uh, I am. Yeah. Only sensible way to be. Yeah, yeah I don't I think, think anyone so. involved in our show. I mean, I don't know. Does Joe have any sort of religious beliefs? I don't know Not much that about I'm it. I'm aware of. I don't think anyone on our show has any sort of religious faith it's or spiritual. It's crazy, beliefs. man. Like, the, as, as if, if it just Sam stops sexual. being talked about, it's just gone. Like, that's it. It's just as dumb as everything else that everybody thought before this, and that'll be the end of it. When will you start covering the stallion again? Uh, you know, I don't know. We haven't stopped. I mean, we just don't do it every single fucking episode. Didn't we? What do makes it you guys the... a rage? I always ask that on my show. What makes you guys a rage? Like, what's the worst? What's, what pisses you off more than anything in the world? Scam situation. I don't really. I can go. Like... I can come back and forth and stall for time. Like too short of a shirts really fucking makes me a rage. Like you get a shirt. That is awesome, and it has a tits logo on it. Like maybe you guys got shirts that are cool, but you get it, you wash it one time, and like the hem of the it shirt shrinks. barely covers the belly button. You feel like a fucking hooker while you're walking around. <laughs> you're afraid to raise your arm. Like I no, can't even itch right. my back. This fucking shirt is too short. That really makes me a rage. He's what about right. you guys? It's the perfect length when you first get it, and then yeah. you wash it once, and it shrinks like. To like one third of the size that it was before. It's like a belly tee, like showing a midriff. You yeah. Know? I don't feel like anything really makes me rage anymore. I feel like I've uh, I've pretty it's much the run drugs. Up and now I just think everything's funny. Even if something is personally a gigantic inconvenience. Hold on, no, whatever. Raging. What about cyclists, TJ? I mean, that was comedic exaggeration. Oh, now he says that. <laughs> all it took all it took was 10,000 thumbs down for TJ to say that. Before it was like, they do shuck. Hey, that video still has more thumbs up than thumbs down. No, fuck. Wait, you don't like cyclists? Fuck cyclists, dude. They think they're cars. <laughs> Guess what? You're not a fucking you car, dude. I made a whole video about this shit. No, I mean, like, things perturb me, but I don't know. I just don't really feel like I rage at shit too much. Oh, uh, yeah, I got angry. Problems. Fuck, dude. I don't know. <laughs> soggy fries piss me off. Yes. I don't like the fucking French fries. Oh, like when 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 TJ goes to a restaurant, if they serve fries, he will ask the cut of the fry before. Hey, he let me give you fry. a let me give you a dick tip, dude. If you go to like if you go to McDonald's, you ask for fries with no salt, and then ask for salt on the side because then they have to make your fries brand new. Because they're not in the vat where it's just like uh, salt all over the place. True. You gotta that, make, that I is fucking true. hate soggy fries too. I don't like it. I also don't like fucking waffle. You know what? Waffle fries kind of piss me off. I don't like that lattice bullshit. It's not yeah. a fucking fry. I like anymore. waffle fries. Damn, I like it. No, they're fucking nonsense, dude. It's I not like even them. a fucking fry. 
Call yeah. that something else. That's a whole other category of fucking potato. TJ the bundle of fries. Which actually assault falsely, but then a bunch of other women who disliked you for being anti-feminist, anti-SJW, came out saying the same thing and was plastered everywhere that you were a sexual predator. I'd just fucking own it. I'd fucking be like, hey, I'm TJ the rapist. How you doing? <laughs> Don't leave your bitches alone with me. I'll fucking rape the shit out of them. Uh, who cares? You know, whatever, man. I'll embrace any fucking horse shit people try to throw at me. I'll be the villain. I don't give a fuck. One minute. One minute six seconds. Oh, it's counting down. Guys, I got to piss because I drink so much fucking whiskey on your show. Is that all right? Can yeah, I take no a problem. Break to piss? Can, yeah. I take the, can I take a break to piss as long as I don't make a big deal out of it and delay the show by asking if no, I can no, take no, a break you, to you piss? No, no, no. You take your fuck. You, I want you to you know, go piss in the waste basket in the corner, dude. Go piss in that waste basket. I know it's there. I can sense its presence. He's not pissing in the corner, Ben. We have an uncooperative guest. I pissed in the corner here on the show before. Yeah, you pissed in a cup. Yeah. Piss in a cup to throw it at fucking Paul when you were drunk. <laughs> Stack of shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh. those days man the out of so, control is so like uh yeah uh episode 420 yeah i'm gonna push- I, I can't make a hundred percent guarantee as of yet but i'm thinking probably i'll i'll be flying in and we'll we'll reunite on the uh in the studio for that shit a lot of people I mean, got, a lot of people were bitching about episode 400 not being anything special and it's like we told you a million times it wasn't going to be we were going to fucking focus on 420 being special and a bunch of people were like why did fucking no, no celebration for 400 it's like 420 is right around the bend we're a fucking weed show no, we're not a weed show but weed has always been very important to the drunken peasants podcast but uh yeah i mean that's pretty much pretty much wraps up i think yeah. right yeah, we're I think we're about to run here. Up. Yeah. All right. Cool. Our guest yeah. fucking took a piss right at the end. Couldn't wait one more minute, huh? Oh, no, no. <laughs> I couldn't wait earlier either. I had to run away for a second. So, you all- Hey, guys. Thanks for having me on. This was fun as fuck. Yeah, Thank dude, you. Uh, why don't you do another little plug there? We got your link down in the description section. You want to check out Dick's show, check out Dick's Patreon. I yep. listened to some coming up for you know, when he was coming to be a guest. I thought it was fucking funny as fuck. I'm going to check out some of that road rage shit because that sounds cool. Come on down to the show, man. Both of you guys. Come out to the show. We'll do one in Portland. We'll do one in Chicago, December 2nd. Uh, they're, uh, they're, 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 they're a complete fucking catastrophe. When is the, when is the uh, Portland one? Uh, I think February. Okay, cool. Yeah, maybe, maybe we could do February. I don't know. If it's, maybe if it's early enough. we could Let's probably... do a crossover. Let's do a crossover show where both of our audiences will get <laughs> oh. together and fight. You know, I, 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 think that I would actually be think that's cool. a cool idea, dude. I mean, like, our last, I don't know how many people, how many people come to your shows? About 200. We never had. Yeah, that's about us, too. So we could probably get, like, 400 motherfuckers in a venue. Would you go to New York? Would you ever do a yeah, New York? Fuck yeah, Yeah. Yeah, I mean, we, maybe we work some out, dude. It might, we could probably have some fun. Yeah. All right. Well, All right. Uh, thanks for being on. We're going uh, to go ahead and sign off here. See you guys. Later. Yeah.